live on. I think we're live on. Um, whoa, that's noisy. I think we're live on Twitch. That's weird. Why does that look? Oh, I've got to reset everything. I hate OBS. I hate OBS. You talk. I've got stuff to do. Welcome to Twitch, a live streaming platform which is usually populated by people playing games or talking about films or videos. We might be doing one of those later. Which one of those? You'll have to wait and find out. So uh, tonight we're going to be talking about what's happened this week. It's been one of those weeks where uh, plenty has gone on and we're absolutely exhausted. My eldest has got this awful um, sickness where she can't get out of bed. Um, I've been speaking to a lot of my students who are exhausted. It's coming towards the end of term. That will happen. And uh, yeah, a lot of them are falling ill, dropping like flies. So if you are feeling under the weather today, our hearts and souls and minds are with you and uh, we wish you better. Sorry, guys, we haven't done it on Twitch for a while. And OBS, which is an absolutely awful service for user streaming, has, has, of course, changed everything. And so I just need to... Um, ah, I can't remember. I can never remember how we get back to it. Sorry. Catherine, you entertain right. the troops. Uh, well, I'm going to say hello to Katie for Cozy Bug, Dave Dogface, Jason Vincent, George's Woman. Hello, Zermatt. Hello, welcome. Katie for Spiderfish, Harsh, absolute legend. Done. And Mick Hughes, Alan Michael, and Adam G. 80. Welcome, Done. welcome, welcome. Cape Town De uh, Dean. Welcome, Cape welcome. Town Dean is five miles long. Oh, is that we, are we allowed to sing that song? I'm not sure. Let's, let's not. Let's not. My hair looks absolutely awesome. Um, welcome, everybody. Good evening, good evening, good evening. We haven't been on Twitch for two months, and I'm struggling to remember how to do it. We'll open up uh, Skype in a little bit. I'll turn the heating down. It's a little bit hot now. Hello, Squigs. Hello, Ian Lee, uh, fan one. Hello, Foxes are great. And hello, John Harris. Hello. Um, we've got a little bit of business that we'll, we'll do later on. It's lovely to be here. It's lovely to see you. Congratulations. Hi, thanks. Um... Uh, yeah, it, Friday. It's it's been a uh, it's been a hell of a uh, day. Oh, so Big Boy went and Big Boy's been all matted underneath, right? And uh, so I had to take him to the vets because it, it, it was too much. It's my fault. Right. He's, he's a long haired cat, it's my fault, but he doesn't let you go touch his belly. I was going to say, the, the belly invitations are traps, so we traditionally stay I, clear I, I, of that. I should have got in there, I should have got in there. So it's all matted, it was horrible, and it goes up the side a little bit, and he wouldn't let me do it. So there was no point in taking him to a groomer's, so I took him to the vets, and they said, well, we'll have a go. By the way, how's the audio, how's the audio tonight? Great, right? No distortion, right? Because I haven't got my game up, my gain up. I've got my game up. My gain is uh, lower because uh, there's a podcast interview I did. My, what is it? My favorite console, my personal console. I can't remember what it is. And I just listened. I just listened to a bit. He's put a bit of a trailer up, the guy that did it. And the distortion. It, it, well, it, it sounds like that. It sounds like, it sounds like that. And I've had that gain up for four years. And it's honestly, I'm not going to be. I'm not going to listen to that podcast anyway. But hearing that trailer has really got me angry. Has really got me angry. Um, do you know what mods? Get rid of Lassus. I'm just going to go with my Spidey sense tonight. Get rid mods. Although cloaca is one of our words. Yeah, exactly. But no mods. Get rid of Lassus. So it's really annoying me. So this, when you listen to my favourite console or whatever it's called. Uh, the gain is up, and I, that has annoyed me. I, I am zero tolerance tonight. Zero tolerance. So I took Big Boy to the vets. Now, they tried him awake, and they kept, five minutes later came and went, no, nah, he's, he's not having it. So I had to book him in today to get him sedated. Not knocked out completely. He's going to be like, oh, yeah, what's going on, man? Um, yeah, he's like rugby tour. He was going to be no. He was going to be like um, the Campbellwell carrot guy from. Oh, guys, would you like to smoke a joint? Um, and they said it'll be three hundred and fifty pounds. Then I went in this morning. You've got to sign the form saying you know, I understand people, the cat might die. And on the form it said three hundred and twenty pounds. I thought, ooh. And then I went in and got him. 
it was £250. Now, that's still a lot of money. It's £100 less than I thought. And actually, it's even cheaper than that because that £250 includes £5 worth of, like, dreamies and treats. Oh. And also, I got three months' worth of flea treatment. That's that's 20 quid, yeah. right? So, tw- 25, so it was 225 quid. So it's a lot of money. But when you think it's going to be 350 it's like, oh, I've saved over 100 quid. I've saved over a hundred pounds. I'm very, very happy with that. Very. We've got some some blasts from the past. We have got Lonely God Dave. Hello, Lonely God. Bodell sent me a cowardly message this week, snivelling. Oh. Mm, I'm sorry, I'm not there. I'm sorry, I'm not there. I'm busy. Life. Yeah, I thought you coward. You snivelling. If, if you're Do you listening know what I think to this. He's doing? I think he's going to rock and roll all day and party every night. If you're listening to this, Paul, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about another Paul Bodell. But what a snivelling cat. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not going to make it. Where's he from now? Ireland. One of the Irelands. Nord. Or in Ireland. I'm sorry, I'm going to make it. Can't make it. So, big boy's been shaved underneath. I thought he'd look ridiculous. You can't see it. His nipples haven't been exposed. You can't see it. They've done a great job. And then as I was leaving, the nurse said, yeah, he he was so lovely and so friendly that we thought we'd try and get the, the price down a bit for you. I oh, went, he sweet-talked them. I went, good lad. He said, okay. okay. Good lad. Good. I said, I said, big boy. Good. Big boy, okay. Do you want to come and show everyone your haircut? Show everyone you're okay. Come on. I've not seen your haircut. Yeah. Let's have a look. Oh, look at him. He's such a cutesy. Well, look, you can't... You can't oh, see his nipples. look at that. They've done a really good job. Yeah. Looks good, big boy. He's, He's feeling it, fresh. It's, it's, it's just like it's a strip. <laughs> Hello, pyjama. It's just like it's a strip. Oh, I love you so much, darling. I'm so proud of you. Remember when we were scared of big boy? <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm so proud of you. Look at you, you fluff. Look at that. Look at that beast. He looks great. You going? He's, okay, he's annoyed. That. He's not been allowed out for two days and he's not eating much. Oh, well, a reverse Brazilian. <laughs> well done, Charlie. Absolutely bob on. Absolutely uh, bob on. So that's today's uh, adventure. Then I was working a bit at some clients this morning. I'm working as a counsellor. For those people that don't know, I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. Absolutely loving it. Um, it has taken years off him. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, so it's been, that's been the week really has been working. I'm working five days a week. A couple of clients have moved on. A couple have gone down to once every other week, which is, which is great. When it's, someone says, I, do you know what? I think I wouldn't mind having a go at this on my own for a while. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. Yeah, really it's about empowerment. It's about self-confidence. It's about people being, you know, learning tools that they weren't given. They didn't pick up as a kid. And going, I, how would you mind it if we went down to once every other week? And so I can't always make that work in terms of finances and stuff. But this week I've been able to, and it's like, yeah, let's let's try that. With, and then we start talking about what it would look like for them not to need to come and see me yeah. anymore. What would they need in place? What would they What would they like to achieve? What would you know? D- d- and it's it's great. I've had a couple go down to once every other week because of the progress. Got a couple of new clients. Uh, starting, it, I went to on Saturday. I went to my old college. Have I told this already? Was this last weekend or the weekend before? No, Feels like I've you told haven't this. seen them in between. Have you, did you say it in the Zoom? No. Maybe I said. No, it wasn't the weekend just gone. It was the weekend before, wasn't it? It was two weeks ago. I've told you about it, haven't I? That's, no, no, no. You haven't told this lot about it. Tell them anyway. Anyway, I went to my old college. My old college was basically two mad um, women in a room above WH Smith. That's a true story. People are cheering bits. I don't really remember how bits work. If you want to give us money, there you go, if you want to give us money. But it's not obligatory. Oh, no, no, that's a charity. We're not giving it to charity. Hang on. Ignore. <laughs> ignore. Don't give bits. I don't really, I can't remember what bits are. Um, Doesn't um, Amazon get all the bits? Yeah, don't, you know, don't do that. Sign up to our Patreon, isn't it? Uh, what's it called? What's this thing? Stream elements. Stream, stream elements. If you want, I'll put it up. Don't don't give bits because uh, bits are. It, but but if you want to subscribe, right, so there's two ways you can subscribe. There's the Patreon, which is four ninety nine a month or three ninety nine a month actually plus that, yep. and you get access to. We do four live shows a month. Three of them are genu- generally behind a paywall. Um, 
you uh, get access to about 2,000 hours worth of podcasts and videos. Someone put a link for the Patreon in the chat. That's the place to be, baby. Now There's loads in there, and you can listen to all the backstories and stuff. If, if anything, there's too much in there. That's the place to be. Don't pay to subscribe on Twitch. Don't pay for that. If you've got Amazon Prime and it's linked to your Twitch, give, do it, give it free. Don't pay for it, because for the same amount of money, you might as well... Uh, sign up for the Patreon and get stuff. Yeah. So, uh, uh, but it's your money. Listen, it's your life. Do what you need to do. But that would be our recommendation. How does I don't understand how any of this? No, they change it, don't they? To keep us on our toes. It's like when you go to Tesco's and they've moved everything around and the eggs are at the wrong end. Is stream elements even the right thing? Yes, it is. How does? I don't really understand. I don't want chatbot. I don't want revenue. I want streaming tools. Overlays. Overlays. Odelay. Odelay. We, 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 we'll put, if you want to give us money, give us... Give us some money. No, I tell you... No. What are you thinking? I tell you what we do. Don't, don't give us any money. A friend of ours is doing a little charity thing. Oh, yeah, that's we're not do, We're not doing a charity stream, all right? This isn't a charity stream. But instead of giving us money, instead of giving us bits and stuff, good friend of the show, Coin Gary. Catherine, why is Coin Gary called Coin Gary, please? Because Coin Gary can stack a massive pile of coins here and catch it. If you've ever been to one of our live shows, odds are Coin Gary... <laughs> We always go about half an hour into it go, oh, my God, it's Coin Gary. Quick, come up and do the coin thing. And he does. And he does the coin thing. Now, he posted in our Discord. This isn't going to be – he posted in Discord. This is what he posted. Uh, my sister Pauline is raising money for the man cave in honour of her husband, Tim, who took his own life in June of last year. Please donate or share to support this amazing charity. So this isn't going to be – we're not going to do it as a charity stream, but we'll have a little dono bar. I'll keep putting the link in the chat. Um, if you want to – you know, if you were going to give us a fiver or something, don't worry about us this month. We'll be all right. uh, we will be all right. Uh, whereas the Man Cave is a great charity. Uh, oh, there we go. Look, you've, Jim's got it in there Thanks, already. Gart Mods, if you could just keep every half an hour or so, if you could just do that, I'm going to create a dono. Uh, well, then the donos. You can also donate to us. It gets confusing. You can either use that link. Or you can use our dono bar. I just need to change the overlay so that it, it makes sense. So um, I think I've changed it. Guys, can you show me what comes up if someone types exclamation mark donate? I'll do it. Donate. What comes up? Do I need to change? Okay, I can change that. I can change that. Let's let's do that. Let's 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 put hundred quid. Uh, set a goal. Donate. Was it called the Man, man Shed? The Man Cave yeah. or Man Shed? No, Man Cave. Man Cave. <laughs> uh, just, bear, just bear with me. So you can tell we don't give this any thought. What's a, actually, I do have something. Um, uh, I do have thoughts for something. I do have thoughts. 360, I just need to change that. Got, I've got some thoughts. I can't remember where the thoughts came from. I do hope David Turner's uh, CBFL. Is me and David have got a code now. C B F L. Can't be what? No, C B F L, yeah. I'm not telling you what it is. Uh so I'm not well it's it's out mine and David Turner's secret code, and no one will will have to kill us to uh to get it. Right, hang on a minute. <laughs> hang on a minute. So there's the that should say that is it no no oh. you'll never guess it um what have i why why do i feel i'm missing something here you, you keep giving us half a thought and then you're moving on to the next well, that's because i'm i'm want to help coin gary uh so that's donate so i want to change that i need to go to nightbot and just change that and, and then we'll be off. Then we'll be off. If if you if you're gonna we're gonna tip us or something on here, don't click the donate button. If you click that the the link for the for the just giving, it will go straight there. If if you give it to us, we'll we'll transfer and put it straight over there as well. So it's all good. If you do click on their link and donate, then 
you know, say you, you're part of the TLNA family. He's not asked us to do this. It's just Gary and his family uh, have been... Uh, They've been around. They've been, they've been fans of the show before even doing a show. Yeah, do you remember? Gary yeah. wanted us to come to his wedding to spite his bride. Yes. And then I, he made us kaplunk. I no, seem, not kaplunk. Jenga. I seem to remember. Didn't his wife give me some roast potatoes once? Was it his wife or I don't his sister? Know. Apparently his wife famously did not like us. Oh, that was it. His but sister did. There was a, a, a member of the Coin Gary family gave me some roast potatoes, I think in Brighton. Um, help support. Oh, this is always a bit. I it, this this is so glitchy. This this thing. I always trouble with this. Right. So help support Coin Gary. No, help support the man cave. Is that what it's called? Yes. The man cave and our T L N A family. No, let's just put help support the man cave. And we'll, 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 we'll allude to it. We'll allude to it every now and then. So that should be that. Exclamation mark donate. There we that go. Works. Boom. We're in. If you want to do, it's not a charity stream, but he's... Um, uh, Paul says, a member of the coin family doesn't like you. Sounds like <laughs> a bad penny. I think she was just resentful of the facts, as were many people. That um, her husband was having an affair with both of us. <laughs> no, but there was there tended to be <laughs> one member of the couple who was really into the show, and the other one who really what just wanted to go to sleep. Do you remember when we did the late night phone in? Foggy says I was there for the coin, Gary, the coin catch. I think it's the night I paid thirty pounds to touch the massive seller tape. Certainly <laughs> yeah. is, certainly is. So just to flag up again, uh, our, our friend of the show, um, uh, Gary, her, coin Gary, has posted uh, in the Discord. Um, it's his sister Pauline is raising money for the Man Cave, which is a great charity. It's in honour of her husband Tim. Took his own life in June of last year. If you got a couple of quid, if you were going to donate us a couple of quid or give us bits, don't bother doing that. Either click on our donate link or the Just Giving donate link. It will all get to the same place eventually. And if you go through the Just Giving, mention the the, the TLNA family because uh, they will they will hopefully get some comfort uh, from. That. So I have been, I have to be careful. Boys, can you hear me? That's okay. I'm just, I was just testing if you can hear me. I'm going to talk a little bit about bloodhounds, Kim. So you might want to put your fingers in your ears. Okay. <laughs> so I've been, uh, my, my kids are here. My 12 year old recommended this show. He said, Daddy, have you seen this uh, bloodhounds on Netflix? It's a Korean boxing drama. I thought, oh, well, do you know what? I've got nothing on. I'll have a go. And it's it's not sexy, it's violent. Swearing. Uh yeah, it is it is quite he's watching the dubbed version, so I don't know what the dubbed version is like. Anyway, it's great eight part Korean drama. And uh, I think it's based on a comic book. And it's basically it's about money lenders. There's a good money lender, there's a bad money right. lender. There are two young lads that are brilliant boxers, and, and a bloodhound is someone who collects money for money lenders. It is incredible. It's eight episodes. It's no spoilers, don't worry. It is incredible. Yeah. Episode six, even though I read online and people were slagging episode six off, episode six is one of the best television episodes I've ever seen in my life. It was, I was, I was crying, but we're crying a lot at the moment, but I was in, I don't want to, do it. absolute pieces, absolute pieces. Then I watched episode seven and eight. Yeah. Fuck oh, it. They totally dropped the ball. What, what do you mean? Shit, shit punching? No, all just the story's going story, story, and then the story went. So, so, sorry, what? And it was, it was almost like it was um, season two. It was, it was weird. And I did some reading on it, no spoilers, but there was a big break of like about three or four months between six and, and seven, and. Matty says, is there an ending to a show you've ever enjoyed? You liked um, Russian Doll? Yeah, season one of Russian, Russian Doll. Don't bother with the next one. Um, didn't like the end of Fringe, didn't like the end of Lost, didn't like the end of Breaking Bad. Uh, didn't fin no, I, well, no, no one finished Twin Peaks because you get to like three quarters of the way through season two. They tell you who the killer is, then why would you watch it? 
Um, Better Call Saul, no. Didn't like boring. Um, oh, The End of the Leftovers was good. Thank you, Ming. So, yeah, there's a couple, Matty, coming in here, asking me which TV shows I didn't like and which I did like. Well, let's be honest. Mostly you are disappointed by the other TV there shows. Was, uh, there was... Um, it was... It was. It just was so badly done. And I read up on it and they had production issues, including one member of the cast got um, done for DUI. Oh, no. And, and it makes sense because you... It, it just... you walk, <laughs> Knowing that, you go, oh, okay. Oh, well, they did what they could. They patched it up. <laughs> yeah, they did what they could, which was actually not very good. So... I still really enjoyed it, right? It was it, it, they're such watchable characters, but yeah, the 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 last two episodes, they they I don't I don't know has anyone seen it? I don't know if anyone's seen it. Um, I'd best. love, I want to have a conversation with someone about the end of uh, Bloodhounds and also the end of the Curse. I'm still angry about the Curse, and I did vow I'd never watch another television series ever again. I told you the ending, didn't I? Did I tell you the ending? Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Utter. Oh. Utter. Top of the lake. That was a good ending. Dave says, isn't that why most of the lost cast left? Breaking the strict to white. There was certainly someone was written out very, very quickly. And then you find out that she had been drunk driving. <laughs> there was quite a few people left lost very quickly. And you go, okay, they, they broke the law somewhere then. Uh, which one? Sorry, my dear. Top of the lake. I don't know that one. That was about a small town in New Zealand where there were shenanigans afoot and there's uh, police officers trying to work out what went on. And it was one of those endings where you think it's finished and then it all kicks off again and then you left like this going... <laughs> it was brilliant. Top of the lake. Isn't that funny? It's like almost like I sent myself... Hey, Michael Lambert has just become a... Uh, I nearly says become a dom. What? Well, that reminds me. Okay. <laughs> I overheard, it. I, heard, I overheard in a women's toilet, I overheard the most fascinating conversation a couple of weeks ago. I forgot to tell you about it. Some 20 something standing by washing their hands for ages. They, they weren't washing their hands anymore. They'd wash their hands or having a chat. It was, she was reading out some of the messages that she was putting out saying, I told you this, didn't I? You're not even worth my abuse. 500 oh, yeah. pounds to one block. Have you scratched yeah. your face? No, I haven't. A cat ran across it last night. Oh, God. Yeah. You look like one of the blokes from um, uh, Bloodhounds. Yeah, Slash. Um, yeah, what happened was I was sitting on my daughter's bed and the cat was trying to get out the window. I grabbed the cat and she started doing that thing where they run in midair and she ran across. She got perches on my face as she hit the floor. Um, yeah, 500 pounds to one block. She said, well, I'm being a bit easier on them because of financial crisis and everything, but these are my pay. She's talking about pay picks. That financial domination is very yeah. peculiar. I get it. I can, I can, you can trace back pretty much everything, and and and. But yeah, it's a weird one. Yeah. Um, I'm having fun on TikTok, although I've, I'm just going to check. Cause I unblocked someone because they said I was a turf. Oh, they're back. Oh god. And they call me Glinna. Yeah, they're they're so, very random with their uh, insults, aren't they? So the stories I, they've told themselves about who they yeah. are, who you are. Um, Really enjoying your feedback and comments. Okay, yeah. Um, so but then I unblock them because apparently the more conversation there's going on your TikTok, it's the, the thing's going round and round and round. Regardless so it of the views. quality of that. So it doesn't matter if it's nonsense, just as long as there's movement. Is that right? Oh, here we go. Dr. Sinead Sharma. So she called me Glinner. I said, you do know I'm not Glinner? And she replied, yes, I know you're not Glinner. He's actually funny. What's a real doctor? Weird that you pretend you couldn't understand it, but then magically say addiction. So this is what they said. So, Dr. Sinead, who mm. I'm not sure is a real doctor, um, I can't even really read what they've written. Did you really get through two bags, if sand, a week on Charlie? I don't really understand it. I, 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 I did a lot of crazy things back in the day, but sand was never... Sand was Bags never involved. Bags of sand was never involved. Bags of sand was never. I need to get to 10,000 followers and then I can start making money. I know who, what Glinner is. I know exactly who it is. Please don't invoke that name on this. Do you know what? Actually, I'm just going to I'm just going to block Dr. Yeah, Sinead yeah. Sharma. I just some people aren't. Also interesting that they oh, they, they say they're called Dr. Sinead Sharma, but the actual handle is. Oh, the handle is Walter underscore Mitty. <laughs> Let's just see one of the. Uh, oh, Bags of Sand equals grand, apparently. If you are unwilling to learn, then do not attempt to educate others. 
Bizarre. I just, I'm just going to block. I'm just going to block. I'm just going to block. No, we go. Ah, Thalmus. Okay, I see. I'm down to three percent on my phone. I've got to go and plug my phone in. Oh my goodness! Quick! Oh my god! It can't Get in the fear. I was worried because I've got eight percent. Both of us are flying by the. I've got six percent. Both of us flying by the seat of our pants tonight. Uh, I know someone doing overpriced Japanese candy on TikTok shop. Fifteen k a month profit. Is that right? I've seen some bizarre things on TikTok. I must admit, I do enjoy it. Um, uh, some of it is wrong, 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 wrongity wrong. But I do yeah, enjoy it very TikTok much. Um, yeah, I got sucked into the TikTok live. And I've seen some of the drama. I'm aware of some of the drama. A lot of the drama I've learned about against my will. But there you go. Why can't I edit my Twitch name? Do I have to sub? I don't know. Maybe someone in the um, chat can help me with that, Thalmus. Um, yeah, so TikTok. I was the suggested he go on TikTok because I thought it might be quite, I don't know, this is the short form stuff might be quite handy. And also I enjoy watching TikTok. Yes, even the bad bits. Um, Catherine, it is right. What are you doing? I'm just walking normally. Why have you taken things out of my walk? I, I just heard sort of marching. God, it's horrendous, isn't it, Catherine? Yes. you got cat problems as well, Alistair. Did, uh, did it skip across your face? I've got a scar on my leg from where she ran across... Again, catching me midair, ran across my leg, and uh, now and now the face. Now now she's hit the money maker. Obsessed with Clinton's podcast recently. Woman on it sounds just like you. Madness says Mingball. I I will search her out and um, give her a cease and desist. Uh, the way to make money apparently is twenty. 21 minute videos but they have to be over one minute to be qualified for payment yeah i've heard that tiktok is trying to encourage people to do longer videos because it used to be short 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 didn't it but now they want to be over a, to, to earn you have ten thousand followers the videos have to be over a minute i'm on two well uh, uh, two weeks ago i was on about 400 i'm on 2300 followers now I, I had a little slip and not doing video you've got to do one every day really i've been busy trying microphones so someone sent me a, a lovely little microphone I don't know. Someone sent me this very kindly. Sent me this beautiful, beautiful microphone. But it's the, it's so quiet. It's so quiet. I might try it on your phone. I think it's my phone. Okay. So I tried that, and then I bought some Rode MEs. Are they squ the square ones? Yeah, and they're they're better, but it's 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 still a bit quiet, and. It's not worth 130 is, quid. Is it that TikTok messes with the sound? Uh, it does a bit, but the, I, this is even before I upload it. Um, this is before I upload it. it, it, it and so I tried these these Rode ones for 130 quid. And it's certainly better than those. Um, and it's better than the phone microphone, but not 130 quid's worth of better. So they're going back. They're going back. Do you know what I'm going to spend the money on? I'm going to buy a nice duvet for my bed. I was in bed the other day. You know that will work. The duvet was a very, a very thin. And I just thought, I've had this duvet for about eight years. I'm going to, I'm going to treat myself. Mid-range Marks and Spencers. Because I looked at John Lewis. I thought, I've got a £20 voucher for John Lewis. Well, I said, 400 quid. 400 quid. 400 quid. So, um... So I want to get up to 10,000 followers. I want to do a live stream on there, but I'm a little bit nervous. You should be. Well, it's, it's wild. It's wild. The live, TikTok live is wild. There is a whole section of people who were just on there just to shock. And uh, I fear for a lot of them, actually, because they are laying themselves, not literally bare, but they are making themselves very vulnerable on there in terms of doxing themselves, uh, giving away more information than is necessary to maintain safety. They've got masses, massive amounts of hate on there and people who are picking apart every single thing they do. And at some point they're going to fall off and not be making any money and they will have to have a life after that. And who is going to employ them? Because they have really like said all sorts on there. Matty says you can do battles with other people yeah. for gifts, bracket, real money. Yeah. I had someone don't do... Don't get involved in that. Oh, no, don't get involved. I had someone do um, their first comment video on my video. A stitch. Uh, is that what it is? A stitch when they show a bit and then they talk? Yeah. Not, so that's not a duet? No. Is a stitch different? Okay, because I yeah. did a duet. I tried a duet um, of me watching me stealing the strawberries, but it, it, it confused the algorithm, so no one watched it. But it's this guy. And all I saw was a clip of me talking about people attacking me for... Just pointing out stuff about mental. Uh, 
Ian, it's just, I just want to, I, I, I'd like to try and explain why people may be attacking you. Now, now listen, I don't like you, but, as I, okay, scroll past that. You stole Limmy's jokes. Okay, scroll past that. You stole the strawberries. Okay, scroll past that. It's too big of a jump from what you were doing before. Uh, uh, block. Okay. Block. Okay. Block, Duck Duck Man. His name's Duck Duck Man. And it's like, I did, I, it's like two and a half minutes. It's not, I, I don't like you, but. What, what, why would I be interested in what you got to say? So I just, just blocked. Yeah. Don't piggyback off my celebrity. Uh, clout chasing, they call it. That's what he's doing. You can get someone donate a universe, yeah. which is five hundred pounds, and some TikTok dudes ask for money to be a mod. I have a theory about Everything some of that. After the I have a theory about that. A lot of these people are in an agency, and I wonder whether the the big prize giving, the universes, etc., are to encourage other people, and they're not necessarily from. Because I know that some of the big creators sort of gift each other, and I think it's just to give this idea oh. that it's something that's done. Well, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm going to do it. I'll probably do it. I might do a live one this Sunday. But I don't really, I don't, I'm a little bit nervous about it. Does anyone else get this on TikTok? Let me, oh, well, I open up TikTok, right? And it, the, it goes, I've blocked so many of these. Good morning, you fucker. It's a fucking great day, you, you dick, dick dribble. It's like, what? It's like, that's one of the things it said. What a way to right? wake up. But now it goes this 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 one, and I can't get past it fast enough. So I can't help but go. You see, is it? Is that what? What is? Where has this come from? What? And I can't, and I keep blocking them, but I keep getting more and more. You, you see, look at you, you dick dribble. What the? What? How is that allowed? What happened to Good Morning Sunshine? How is that allowed? Jim's putting a Just Given link in the chat. Our good friend Coin Gary um, has had some tragedy uh, in his life, losing a brother-in-law to suicide. Um, so we're not doing like a, a proper charity stream thing, but we thought while we're here, we'll we'll put a little we'll put the links to the Just Giving. If you want to use our donate exclamation mark donate, it will come straight to us, and then we'll move it straight on there. Um, you know, if if you were going to give us a couple of quid tonight, don't give it there. Do suggest signing up to our Patreon though. Uh, uh, I've done. I've done. I, I click uninterested. I've done it. I've blocked them. I've done uninterested. They just see it as a come on. I got some great Twitter videos this week. Oh, have you? Should we have a look? Yeah. I got some absolutely great I've been ones. A bit quiet on that front because I've been so busy. Oh, look at my hair. my hair is absolutely bobbing at the moment. Look there at that. Is. There's the hair check, the, um, the hair checks. Jenna says, that's how I greet Jimbo in the morning. I call him a C. Well, that in that instance, it's true. Um, but yeah, follow me on TikTok, Mr. Ian Lee. Follow me. Share, helps if you share the videos, apparently. If uh, you share the videos, it, it gets seen by more people. Right. Mm. So let's go to my profile. And yeah, let's see. Did you? What did you have? I've started having McDonald's. I've, I've started going basic double cheeseburger. That's nice. Because I've been going for the I'll have the steak steak platter. I'll have the uh, uh, dishy wash of the week. All that shit. I'm enjoying the wraps. I always have you know sweet chili chicken wrap. Delish. Uh, what's your McDonald's? Oh, we're going to do a woke quiz later on, and I can't remember why, but I was having a conversation with David about a woke quiz. So was we're going to because um, apparently ADHD is woke. That might that was it. Tim, the truck driver. Tom, the lorry driver. Don't get the double. Get the triple cheeseburger. Oh, matter. Um, yeah, because I was being called woke. He's one of these people that uh, don't like it, don't understand. So it. we're gonna do questions for a work quiz. We'll open the phone in a, a little bit as well, please. Yeah, filio fish. I've never had one. I tried one. It was horrible. Are they grey? Are yeah. they like school fish? School school fish fish fingers. Whoa. Fish fingers. Goldfish fingers were always grey, weren't they? On the inside. Let's have a little look. So I've liked some stuff. Let's let's have a little scroll. Oh my god, this is the sexiest. Anne it's Margaret. Anne Margaret, Johnny Carson, 1975. This is the sexiest clip. Actually, first of all, let me find you. Right, let's first of all, let's find the Tom Jones. While you one. do that, I want to find a clip of uh, someone else taking off Anne Margaret, which was hilarious. So this is weird. Dance. Oh, the the wonderful Ruth Husko tweeted this. I think she's absolutely fabulous. 
and it's Tom Jones from, I guess, the late 80s, early 90s, Dance like you've never actually seen anyone dance before, <laughs> but are contractually obliged to do so. Here we go. Look at this this dance. A visionary happy Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, dear Amber Visionary Soup. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Were you in the, the half past seven to watch this crap for? Go and get life. Um, okay, so here's Tom Jones. Look at this dance is amazing. I think I've had a dance now. Okay, let's just change the settings. So that's going to go there and that's going to go there. Here we go. You ready? Here we go. Look at it though. He's actually having a wank there. Look. <laughs> oh, he is. A tiny one. It's the weirdest. Is he trapped behind the sliding door? Yeah, we'll work something out later. This is just so these are the positions, but we'll work something out later. Where are your milk tray out here? That, the ladies love that. God. Right. So that's that's Tom. Now, and Margaret, who I just absolutely I think she is the most beautiful woman that's ever walked this earth, and we should all thank God that we were potentially on this planet at the same time she was. <laughs> but this is very, very similar, right? But I think this is the sexiest thing I've ever seen in my life. But it's a very similar vibe. Is there music or is this one of those scuff scuffly, shuffly music? Ain't got no trouble in my life. No foolish dream to make me cry. She saves it in a minute. Here we go. Oh, oh, wrong either. There we go. Oh. My mom still dances like that. You can see it popping out. <sighs> Even doing that. <laughs> she really does use all the stage. Um, um, look at my feed now. Is that the Scylla Black one? No. It's oh, well, let me just show. Well, give me just, while we're doing dancing. The, oh, yeah, but while we're doing um, simulated sex scenes. So Have you seen this dance, one? You, unfortunately, yes, you can't. Do you know what it. song she's singing? Yes. Which, wait, what is it? Play it. That's the face I pulled, by the way. <laughs> Oh, they can't be with the one you love. Love the one you're with. Or off the floor. It's the far away look in his eye. Well, that one is far away, literally. <laughs> DJ says, any clips of Dick Van Dyke and the Masked Singer? Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. It's, it's good. We watched the Masked Singer the other... Uh, I was watching it with mum. I said, when saw mum, she's doing all right in the home. And we watched the whole run of uh, Four in a Bed. And then we watched The Masked Singer. It's a very peculiar program. Yeah. Jonathan Ross is 65. <sighs> yeah. He's dressing like that. Well, he's becoming a character, isn't he? But that's a weird, but, but also that program, you, like the, the Eiffel Tower comes up. Let me just Google that. Oh, it's that. Everyone knows. Don't go. Oh, can we, I'm never going to watch it again. Take it off. Take it off. But they only take off. one off a week. Yeah. It was Lorraine Kelly. Was it? Yeah. She could. Oh, she's all right, actually. Um, uh, right, let, well, let me just go through these. Then we'll, then we'll, this is great. Have you seen this? Oh. Yeah, my mum sent it to me. I oh. You can show it on here. Oh, we can't show it. 
Have a look on Twitter. Basically, she falls through the window and she's wearing one of those dresses and it basically has got a boobs pushed up against the window. Well, you, well remembered. I'll, I'll retweet it. We there won't you go. fall for that one again. Tweeted. Um, you seen this? Yes. What is it like teaching middle schoolers? My students no. requested one song today. This is what happened when I played it. Now what? It's funny you should play one of these because, yes. Here we go. I thought this is up. This had me been crying a lot this week. We'll talk about that in a bit. This had me in absolute pieces. Here we go. So there's students of our, young students have asked us to put this song on, right? Why this song? This is loud as it gets, so you guys have to be quiet. I'm so confused. I don't know. It was requested. They start singing. Her face. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what is happening right now? Her face. She's just. Love that. I love TikTok it. TikTok is teaching my kids loads of old songs. It's amazing. Uh, you, well, there's. have you seen this? The, it says, have oh, you yeah, ever that. been this high? Yeah, yeah. Holy fuck, bro. I almost just went in this on-ramp. There's no signs blocking it off, and I thought I was fucking high. That's just a pit on the on-ramp. <laughs> what the fuck? They don't have this <laughs> shit blocked off or nothing. It's a pit. I thought I was high. Watch, That's this guy's pit. coming. There's a guy coming behind me. Hey, yo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is he going to fucking go? <laughs> you know what it is, right? Of course I do. I'm not, I'm not that high. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> What's that Holy play? shit. Oh, it's water. Those mats you can get that look like they're yeah. falling in and the cats won't walk across But, but them. When, he, when he realizes what it is. Holy shit. Oh, it's water. <laughs> I am high. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, this is... Don't, don't look. This is a good one. You see this? Oh, I got... The, the best magic ever. This is this is brilliant. I watched this about 20 times. Oh. <laughs> Her face! Both of their faces. <laughs> Uh, oh, this is the one, right? This is the one, and then we'll, we'll... Oh, no, actually, right. We'll do the motorbike. Oh, there's so many. Yes. So have you seen this motorbike one? Everything about this is perfect. I had this on a loop. We'll watch it a couple of times. There's so much to take in. Okay, guy on a motorbike. I know a lot of you hating motherfuckers want me to fail, but guess what? It ain't happening. You know why? Because I got a motherfucking microwave on my head. <laughs> right, now we watch it again. The skid. The door opening. Yes. The fury. Perfect. And then the slam of the, the slam Because he just does that. <laughs> he slams it by going like that. Is the skid. Straight open. Straight to the camera. A lot of you hating motherfuckers want me to fail, but guess what? It ain't happening. You know why? Because I got a motherfucking Shut the door just by flicking head. your head. Boom! And he's straight off. It's so, it's perfect. It's perfect. I'm just um, looking at the uh, the chat. I don't understand how teachers TikTok in class. I get the sack. Yeah, I was spoken to today by my boss about TikToking in class. We start next week. I think. Yeah, we'll talk. We're going to detail in a minute. It took me a few goes at this to get it. I didn't understand what she said. Okay. This is Jeopardy. And apparently, the Jeopardy people posted this clip on their feed until someone said, um, "Probably want to take that down." From Houston, Texas, prayed for snow on her wedding day. 
Yes, I did. Why? I love snow, and I don't get to see it much in Houston, so I prayed for snow. It was 32 degrees, and no snow on my wedding day, but I had 8 inches on my honeymoon. So, we went to Tennessee. So That's not a bad deal. <laughs> no. I didn't hear what she said. I had to... She had play. eight inches on her <laughs> She had eight inches. <laughs> prayed for snow on her wedding day yes i did why i love snow and i don't get to see it much in houston so i prayed for snow it was 32 degrees and no snow on my wedding day but i had eight inches on my honeymoon so we went to tennessee so that's not a bad deal no you sort of got what you were looking for good Right, either it did snow in Tennessee or someone's told her, this is a funny joke, and she's got, I don't get it, but I'll say it anyway. There's a little bit of, um, who's the Irish lad from Coronation Street? Jim McDonald. Jim McDonald punching people to motorheads. Have you yes, heard this? Yes, yes. <laughs> he was very rageful, man. So it is. Anyway, it goes on and on. Uh, I don't know. I hadn't seen this before. These are footballers being funny. Have you seen this clip? No. This is very, very funny. For the love of Christ and all that is holy. <laughs> what are you doing? Just polishing your trophy, sir. What about him? Best not to see. Best not to say. It's the face is absolutely perfect. What are you doing? Just polishing your trophy, sir. What about him? Best not to say. <laughs> Dirty get. I think. Uh, uh, um, that one's alright. That's my cousin. Uh, oh, final one from me. Oh no, there's so many. There's so many. Two more. Uh, oh, that. Uh, we'll do one more. We'll do this. This is Malcolm in the Middle. This is the most accurate portrayal of ADHD ever shown on TV. We may have shown this before. We'll do this, then we'll go to yours, Catherine. Sorry, because okay. I've got loads. Uh, I think we might have shown this a long time ago. The most accurate portrayal of ADHD. Here we go. that song <laughs> what does it look like <laughs> right I've, I've hogged the limelight for a bit Catherine no, you've right. got some I haven't got an awful lot because I've had a very busy week but let's see <laughs> I've got, got a busy week right. as well no 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 but I've had an Anne Margaret uh, uh, what are we Margaret looking for posts there. replies media where are we going straight in there this is the first one. Oh, Anne Margaret as well is it Saturday Night Live remember they did the Liza Minnelli turn off a light yeah well they do Anne Margaret as well here we go I thought you'd like it What else? Was there anything else? Was there anything Not a else? lot. No, no. Can I keep going? Oh, this was great. What's right. this so you one? know that a lot of people, this is quite long, but you know a lot of people have been going for uh, Taylor Swift. She's getting a lot of hate because she goes to the football games. She's ruining the well, game. Well, uh, according to uh, David Letterman, he did a whole thing talking about her and Kelsey Grammer. And they kept going, it's not Kelsey. Yeah, so she's with Kelsey Grammer. And I don't understand. The this, this guy's brilliant on it. Weird, lonely, insecure man out right, there. So he is a, a Fox newscaster. Okay. 
Uh, you, he's been one of the good ones or one of the bad ones. Well, there's good and bad everywhere. You can decide, but he's been covering football for ages, and he's had enough of this crap. Um, the fact that a pop star, the world's biggest pop star, is dating a star tight end who had one of his greatest games ever, and then, sorry, there's a he's a tight end, yeah. Wow, is that delicious? Okay. Network puts them on the air briefly. That it bothers you. What? Why are people upset? Because I haven't really followed this. All I've seen is Larry David yeah. talking about this. But why are people upset? Because non-football fans are saying they like football when it's just because of Taylor Swift. And who is she anyway? And why is all the attention on her? And why do the cameras keep going to her? And why is she taking up time of their time, you know, their fo serious she like, football time? She like pays the truck drivers on her tour like a hundred thousand dollar bonuses. And she every town she goes in, she leaves enough money at food banks to feed, feed people for about two years. Yeah. Yeah, bitch. but what a bitch going on telly. I know, what, what's a Going cow? to see her boyfriend. Tater. What does that say about your life? Judge people sometimes on the silly stuff that bothers them. It'll tell you a lot about them. When I hear this whole thing about Taylor Swift, I just want to watch football. Liar. I just want to watch football. football. You're lying. That's not true. A football telecast is not just football. In fact, the commercials for four hours before the Super Bowl will be widely watched. Did you know statistically in a three and a half hour NFL playoff broadcast or regular season broadcast, just 18 minutes are actual football? Boom. Well, no, there's more. There's another boom. And we have the data. We have the numbers. You don't turn away. There's coaches cutaways. They show fans in Buffalo on fire, uh, commercials, reviews, 18 minutes of real football. For the record, about the length of five Taylor Swift songs. Listen to this. The New York Times measured how long she was actually on the broadcast. What's this guy's name? Mm, we'll find out in a minute. Okay. Do you know how long it is on average? This is beautiful. 25 seconds in three and a half hours. Against the Ravens, it was up to a whopping 32 seconds. It was 14 Chiefs and Raiders on Christmas. 12 Chiefs and Bengals, uh, 24 seconds, Buffalo, Kansas City. She was on for a minute against the Dolphins, but it was an absolutely awful broadcast. They should have had a concert in the middle of it. That would have been more interesting. And why wouldn't CBS, which you know has the Grammys, cross-promote the world's biggest pop star? Hey, listen, I worked at the other network. I work at Fox. I've seen us jam people on TV shows I would never watch during football games and sporting events. Don't forget to watch this right after the game. I've already forgot about it. Let's get back to the game. But I don't have to rush to social media. I'm okay with it. Here's the other thing that strikes me. Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. Love him. Drake on everything. Spike Lee, Knicks games. M&M's, Michigan sporting. He said M&M's. Events. Delicious. We celebrate it. 80s, 90s, Jack Nicholson, Laker games. It's cool. Saw Jack. He's got a touch of the Jack Nicholson's, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, it's the eyebrows, isn't it? But a talented and beautiful woman is on the air. One who would never pay attention to lonely men, and it bothers them. Hey! <laughs> There's a stat out there, it's kind of uncomfortable for you sad guys, that 50% of men guys. never have real intimacy with a woman. 50%? Oh my God! That means the other 50% have multiple intimate relationships. He's totally destroying! Probably some of our audience as well. <laughs> relationships with women. And those ones that don't are angry and sad and lonely, and they are often misogynistic and resent women who didn't give them the time they think they deserve. Is he calling out incels on the sport? Yes, yes he is. Wow. On sports. We celebrate all these goofballs jumping on tables in Buffalo and cheese hats and men and men and Matthew McConaughey and Drake and Jack Nicholson, men and men and men and M&M and, &M and it's cool and can I get a selfie and I can't believe I saw... And a young, attractive, beautiful, talented woman comes on for 25 seconds and you're bothered. Again, judge people by the silly things that bother them. This says nothing, this anger. This says nothing about Taylor Swift. It says everything about the men bothered by it. That was great, man.
That was great. There was a thing I didn't mention. I was hesitant. You know she's riling the Republicans because it looks like she could... They believe that she's dangerous because she'll sway the vote. Uh, Trump's going to be president. How dare she speak? I, I, I'm hesitant to mention this because it's, it's that thing of don't go and look for this and look for it. But it was on Twitter. It was doing the rounds on Twitter, the Taylor Swift AI pictures. Yeah. And I read about them and I read about them and I went and looked. I was, did you see them? No, but you mentioned them and it sounded awful. But it's, it's funny that that should come up just as Trump's uh, starting to warm up again. It's some of the worst stuff I've ever seen in my life. And it looks real because that's where we are with AI photographs. And it, 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 it it's, oh, it's awful. It's awful. I won't even describe it because it's so vulgar and so, so awful. And okay, so she's the, she's the, the, the one we're all aiming for, is it? Yeah. Okay, all right. So bear in mind some of the horrific things that have been done to There's actual a lot women of really in real life recently, and then they're making that shit up about one particular person. It's, uh, yeah. Can I share this? Tom the oh, lorry driver on delicious. TikTok. Lol, did you ever make it onto Mastermind? So, so he's meeting about ADHD and he's saying it's all woke. That's why we're going to have a woke quiz. Well, he doesn't believe in ADHD, but he, and he also doesn't believe in vaccines. Um, Lol, did you ever make it onto Mastermind? I saw that and I thought, oh, yeah, I've got to have a go at this. Tom says, lol, did you ever make it on Mastermind? Let's have a look at the scores. In joint third place with 15 points, Scott Mills and Bernie Nolan. In second place with 19 points, Jimmy McGovern. In first place, he held on to his lead and then some 26 points. Early. Seven points ahead of, the, of Jimmy McGovern. I thought you had to dress smart on, on Mask Man. That's why I'm wearing I genuinely wasn't doing that as a gimmick. I thought you had to dress smart. Well. Yeah. I made it onto Mastermind. I mean, let's, as comebacks go, that's, that's probably the greatest one I've ever. That's been uh, what, how, however many years in the making, that one. Um, more Scylla? Sure, why, why not? not? Why not? Oh. I've not, I've not seen this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> More squeaky bikes. Are human beings silly? Well, the things we do for entertainment. <laughs> uh, someone asks, what was your specialist subject it, on Mask Man? It was the monkeys, the pop group, the monkeys. And, and I am under no illusions. They go easy on the celebrity ones. Although the, the, actually the general knowledge, I did pretty well. I think I got like 12 in the general knowledge. But they, they, they go a bit easy on the... On there, we having this? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It says teacher, please don't write anything until I tell you what to write. The pupils say, "We're gonna do it anyway." <laughs> I love this. We're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna do it anyway. I do love those. Um, anything? I think that's it. That's Is it? that it? Oh no, there's one more. There's one this more. This one? No, further down. That one. This one. I feel seen. Yeah. Okie dokie, why can't I make it big? I've got to log in. There we go. It's a TikTok. I know, I know that you hate me. Whenever an animal is missing on the loose or on the run, you can guarantee a white woman go find it. <laughs> I'm serious, yo. I could... You know about the monkey? What? Monkey escaped from a zoo. How come I didn't find it? Well, I think a white woman did find it. She put a... Um, she saw it one day, so she put a Yorkshire pudding out on the step, and then... Is this real? She came back, and the monkey was eating the Yorkshire pudding. They're is that not, true? Is that real? I, I, heard... I was just thinking about that phase last year where every weekend there was a different animal turning up looking for help from me. I found that dog. There was the massive hedgehog. There it was, was in the highlands, hedgehog. the monkey. There were cats. It was, it was all going off, was it? It was a Yorkshire pudding, wasn't it? She, she left out... She saw it, this monkey coming and going... So she left the Yorkshire pudding out and she comes downstairs. There's a monkey going, Great, I'd love all the Yorkshire pudding and all. Yeah. Oh, we know how to trap Catherine. You can put money on it. 
She walked up to that horse like it was a standard poodle. And some Uggs, too. <laughs> I don't even know why the zoo called police when animals escape. Just call a white woman. She'll find it within the hour. <laughs> I'm serious, yo. The police just wasting time. Shit. Let me say. <laughs> oh, Jericho! What is this? Jericho? Jericho? Jericho! Hi! <laughs> there you are! Anything yeah. else? I don't think so. I think that's probably a lot. As I say, oh, that's beautiful, that clip. We've, We've seen, seen this that before. one, right? They yeah. made a film of that. Yeah. Yeah. Had a guy come into school today. Vibrations. <laughs> Vibrations. Vibrations. We had a guy come into school today whose granddad was on the kinder transport. And he's just oh, written a book about it. Oh, right. Called, yeah, called Just Frank, if I remember. Yeah. Um, oh, my God. There was a real, there was a detail about the story that really hit, hit me. So they had a leather shop in their little village in um, Germany. And after Crystal Knacked, they kind of, the parents worked out the way the wind was blowing. Um, and there was a moment where the school they were at, the Jewish school, got set on fire. And when the kids came running out, they all got rounded up and taken to the police station. And the granddad realised that something was wrong and ran home. And at that point, his parents said, right, we're getting you on the next train to um, England. And they sent him over on the kinder transport. Then he never saw his parents again. Wow. But because his dad was a leather maker, he managed to make little compartments in the heels of the kids' shoes and he put two gold coins in there. Oh, I've heard of this, yes. And he sold one to pay his way when he first got there and he made the second one into a brooch for his bride when they got married. That made me go... <laughs> Wasn't it? And uh, they're talking about the fact that, you know, until he was, he lived until he was in his 90s, never, never, never got over it, never got over it. And he lived his life within the sort of Jewish community because he'd been taught by his experience that you can't trust anyone outside, that it could happen any time. Oh, my God, it was it was such a story. It was such a story. What a tale. That guy's called Joel Stern. I think he wrote it with Rob Rinder, Judge Rinder. Oh, OK. Judge so um, have a look at that. Couple. And he's written it for sort of younger people as well. So I don't know if you're a teacher, maybe you want to have a copy of it in your classroom. Couple more quick ones, and then we'll take some phone calls. Uh, here's a guy stealing his truck back off of a tow truck. This, this is brilliant. Absolute geezer. He's taking it back, is he? Yeah. He's got a yeah. hook. Yeah. Can you see how he got smashed up in the first place? Love that. And wow. Everyone's seen the John Noakes climbing up um, Napoleon. Was it Nelson's Column? Yeah. But here's Peter Duncan on a top big bed. years was Reg... Jesus, what is that? Hey, leave that bloody snake alone. Patty. One day. And we don't know who's going to win. Oh. To sell. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Reg. Hey, Pleased right. to meet you. Uh, this is Terry and Terry. What's Terry? <laughs> and Terry. <laughs> and you're going over, right? Yeah. Those oh, personalised nice T-shirts are so 70s, aren't so, they? Yeah, definitely. They would have been that good. I'll try. Yeah. There we go, look. This, this is, is a, nuts. This is what we call a bosun's chair. Yeah. OK, look, if you look over the side. No, thanks. Not very big, is it? Uh, well, it's big enough for you. The old days are nuts, right? I think. <laughs> Do I wear a harness as well? Have you seen that thing in New York you can get on now where you sit on the girder and they... they... Yeah, it's it's a it's a trick. It's... I know, but even so, I've I would seen not it. want to yeah, get on no, it. Yeah, no, I've seen oh, it. Uh, well, you no need to. It's no, quite safe. Okay. Right, so if, if I get over the side, I'll show you how to use it. All right, right, you show us it. Okay. No, right. no harness. No, let's stop doing your, that, This is a little bit awkward. Is it? <laughs> Look it at the camera person! Rich. Sorry, I just sent back. Here you go. Uh, I'll try. This is a. This is what we call a bouncer's chair. Yeah. Not very big, is it? Uh, well, it's big enough for you, I think. <laughs> Do I wear a harness as well? Or? Uh, well, you no need to. It's no, quite safe. 
Reg, you can fuck off. You do need to. OK. Right, so <laughs> if I get over the side, I'll show you how to use it. All right, right? you show us it. OK. Right. This is, the, this is a little bit awkward. Is it? You got the camera person! Insane. <laughs> this is a bit I've got to be careful on, is it? Yeah, I think so. What? No. No. Now, when you get over no. the side, you just stand off. on it and hold on. Yeah. OK, and then kick it away and just stand on that concrete. No! Yeah. yeah. Right. On the edge, I'm yeah. sorry, quiet bloke. We're locked in. I, had, I, I This is one of the. Sometimes I don't watch them. I just see the first bit and go, "Oh, we'll watch this together." I haven't seen this. Keep hold of the wires, and then once you're in that kneeling position, yeah, sit down. Okay. How do, you like, how do you lower yourself down? Well, that's by this knot here, which is called a clovage. Okay. And as you, if you want to lower yourself down, you just slacken it off. Yeah. Lower it. As well. Oh, it's About horrible. Six inches. You saw our eyes. I got over there. You can do the same. Oh. No, sit right over. He did put his hand in a magical tree in Flash Gordon, so he's got previous. Yeah, and that blamond ate him. And this leg. Put that in there like that. That's it. This one over. Fifteen years. No, mate. No, mate. No. No. Very bags good. have a flower on them. So this is... These bags have a flower on them. I think it's flower. And it came with this cute little spoon for measuring ingredients. Let's bake. Ready. They look like recess cups. The neighbors said they're like crack. I should start a business. Time to make more. I need to eat these every 15 to 20 minutes. Everyone wants to take my muffins from me. Ah, the paranoia! I can hear them talking in the walls. He's back. Wow. <laughs> Let me chuckle. Uh, hello, everybody. People want to have seen this for a couple of months. We normally do this show on Patreon. The Patreon link is going to come in the uh, pop in the chat. For three ninety nine a month, you will get access to a show we do every single week. Well, we do one a week now, but it it, it minimum of three hours. It's been nudging four hours yeah. recently. May not tonight, but it's been nudging four hours. You also get access to two thousand hours worth of podcasts and previous shows. Um, so that's Patreon. If you're listening to the po po podcast, patreon.com slash Ian and Catherine, isn't it? I-A-I-N and Catherine with a K. If you're watching this live on Twitch, don't pay to sub to us on, on Twitch. If you're going to use that money, sign up to the Patreon. Um, and we're, we, we, we're not, it's not really a charity thing, but we, our friend Gary, uh, Coin Gary, uh, his brother-in-law killed himself last June. I think it was June or July of last year. And his sister is raising a few quid for the man cave. You can donate here. Any money that pops up above here, we'll give. I will make sure you get there. But also, Jim has been posting the Just Giving page. Either of those links, it's not. We're not doing it as a proper charity stream, but we just thought, you know, we if a few quid comes in, that's absolutely great. And a few quid doesn't come in, that's that's okay. But we've been talking about the Man Cave, which yeah. is a great charity that um, helps men. Um, well, talk to other men basically, and and hopefully. Um, you know, saves lives, which I'm sure it does. So there we go. We have had a few subs uh, uh, on here. We've had Linny. We've had Villa Forever. We've had Jimbo, Happy Shark, Super Saint, Zermut, Katifa, Cozy Bug. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome. Let's open up the phone. Oh, yeah, we can't show that. No. <laughs> Let's open up Skype. If anyone wants to give us a call, you can. 0203 286. 6370 is the phone number if you want to give us a call. Oh, we missed Alistair. Alistair, let's give Alistair a call back. Yeah, he says he's been having cat troubles. Uh oh. Scudge! Nina! Hello, hello. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you, kid. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hopefully he'll call us back. You want to give us a call? Oh, hang on a minute. Someone just gave 20 quid. Oh, thank you. Uh, who, is who is that? Now, why can't I... S oh, I can't see who that was because they've buggered this thing up, haven't they? Um, let me get my phone because it will show me on my phone. Who did it? We will find the identity of the mystery benefactor. Uh, but thank you for that. So, yeah, we just said we'd give that a mention. This isn't a charity stream, but we'd give it a mention for our friend Gary, uh, who is raising money along with his family for a very worthy cause. Alistair's ringing again. All right, you can take it. How do I? Here we go. Click it. Yeah, yeah. And then. All right, I'll do it. Uh, I've got 
try and work out what is going on. We'll find out who donated that money. Alistair, yeah. hang on a second. We'll get you back onto the screen. But welcome, welcome. Hello. Uh, you don't look yeah. too scarred up, but I hear that you've been having fights. Yes. You guys talk, because I've got to try and sort out what's going on what's with this. What's been going on, Alistair? not showing me. Right, so um, I mentioned this to Ian earlier in the week, Catherine, oh, and yeah. I, I know that I needed to run it past you. Okay. Um, you know, you're very experienced with cats and all kinds of other things. So, Hedgehogs, stray dogs, <laughs> uh, logs, bogs, frogs. Go on, then. So um, I've been a little bit... Um, uh, sort of um what's the word not feeling great i okay. suppose in the past couple of weeks or so and consequently um i've not really been getting dressed catherine i've been wearing my dressing gown okay quite a lot and um what's been happening is um Jeannie thinks that this that you know it's a good time to have a great game uh -oh. with me and start um biting my ankles okay could be uh, worse going up and down the stairs <laughs> yeah um so i mean i suppose the answer is i should get dressed um, <laughs> keep protect yourself yeah put some sort of gauntlets and um and, and and leg armor on. Yeah, it's just like um, when when the cat's you know presumably the cat's playing or thinks she's playing. Yes. But, but when you actually sort of focus in on her, it looks like she's going to kill you. Do you know that <laughs> feeling? Yeah, but it's prey instinct, isn't it? That's what she's going for. Is your um is your uh, dressing gown belt dangling? Uh, not really. No, okay. it's, uh, it's all right. Because that could be but, enticing. That's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Well, no, I, yeah, I get what you're saying. Um, but uh, anyway, so I've, I've, I've um, the, the latter part of this week, I have been uh, wearing clothes, which has helped. <laughs> yeah, good. OK, well, I'm glad you found a solution. But she obviously yeah. really wants to play. Whether that, I mean, it's misdirected at the moment. Have you got one of those catfishing rods? Uh, somewhere. I've yeah, it dig out, it out but... because I bet you could. If you tire her out for ten minutes a day, you can might I, you might save your ankles. Can I? I don't know what is going on. You can see, Catherine, my OBS is going absolutely crazy. I don't yeah. really know what's going on. However, through some fluke, I can see that Robin in London uh, gave twenty quid to the man cave, and Nelly gave five pounds. I Thanks, just want guys. to acknowledge that within the 20 minutes of you doing it. Christ knows what is happening to my screen. Sorry, Alistair, I'm a little bit distracted. I don't know what's going oh. on. But Robin and Nelly, may the gods bless you. Sorry, you. I am with you guys now. Jeannie's going for him again. Uh, yeah, I know. I had a little He's chat with him the other day. Misdirected play, we reckon. Um, but I was wondering, do your cats um, do this out, out of the, you know? Yes. If I go down the stairs past them and I'm wearing a long skirt, they will grab my skirt. All right. Yeah, and didn't one of that reminds me? Didn't one of your cats attack one of your dresses in the wardrobe? Yes. Well, she climbed up it. it. She climbed up it, but I managed to get one of those um, melt-on sort of patches for the back, and you can barely tell now. Uh, but yeah, she climbed up the dresses, and it was like <coughs> she left a mark. In yeah, can I just say, kind of a... for some reason, I'm getting notifications on my phone for all of my apps, threads, all of my apps. One has just popped up for Netflix, but this could be worth worth oh, it. Oh, yeah. There's a documentary that's on there called The Greatest Night in Pop. On a January night in 1985, music's biggest stars gathered to record We Are the World. This documentary goes behind the scenes of that historic event. Stream's yes. over. We Thanks for watching, that. everybody. Good night. We're off. I'm having some of that. Sorry, I, Alistair. I didn't like that song, though. I, I didn't think That's because you're racist. No, it was not. We Are The World is not a great song. No, it was thrown together, wasn't it? It's not a great song, but it's, um, there's great. I, I have watched, there's like an hour of, of Dylan doing his bit. And it's, it's fascinating. It's fascinating. 
I'm having some of that. Richard's watched it, says he loves it. We're in. We'll have some of that. We've been into a lot of cheesy pop documents, stroke uh, soaps yeah. Haven't we, lately. Um, yeah, I'm done. I'm done for now. Yeah, done we, we now. watched the Steps reunion. That was a step too far. <laughs> Didn't you say that the um, oh, the best reunite thing was good then? What was it called? The Big Reunion. Yes. Season one, Big Reunion season one is great. Uh, well worth watching. Uh, uh, yeah. Whoever's uploaded Big Reunion season two, those oh, messed it up, so they made it too complicated. Numbers. Yeah. Don't understand numbers. Um, Is it good because there's um, a, you know, a little bit of conflict in it? Or it's great for so many reasons. The fact that Blue steam in towards the middle of it after everyone else is established, and they've sort of... they've been together for years. It's not a reunion. But for also, them. everyone else is kind of rankled by it, and Blue come in like, yeah, we'll show you how it's done. And actually, they're not as good. They're mm. not as good as Five. There's nerves. There's ego. Yeah. There's you know. There's reasons these bands split up and they get uh, addressed. And, and at the end, there's a bloody great pop concert. But there's also the wonderful Liberty X just enjoying themselves and showing that it can just be fun. Season two, Richard. Yeah, they're all labelled season two, episode one, but they're not. And I couldn't find episode one. And all the bands are shit. So for that reason, I'm out. There we go. Oh, I didn't watch The Apprentice. Is that what they said? No, that's Dragon's Den. Dragon's I didn't Den. watch The Apprentice. Dragon's Den's back as well. Um, I watched The Apprentice. It's what you'd imagine. Part of me thinks I don't want to support that massively racist, tax-dodging arsehole, but I do like the programme. <laughs> mm, torn. Yeah. Torn. Well, there was uh, lots of fun around uh, breadcrumbs versus flour. The kerfuffle was... No spoilers. They had to, it had to do an event, yeah, and they mixed up some ingredients with... Hilarious consequences. Uh, Boys, have you been watching The Apprentice? Have you? Did you watch The Apprentice? Okay, great story. So, Ian, just to say, I went um, to the meeting, my meeting last night. It was very yeah. good. Well, we were and, both going uh, to meetings last night, weren't we, when we spoke? Yeah, and um, I don't know about you, I, I guess it's for the, for the same, really, but you know, if, if you are, you know, like for me, when I'm struggling, if I do go to a meeting, it just like makes me feel so much better. Yeah. But our brain like, doesn't think like that. It, we get caught up in feeling in feeling shit. I think I was telling you this, right? We'll talk about this a little bit. Uh, 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 all this week, I've, I felt so, actually, Monday I was buzzing, but then I felt so low and empty. I've just been crying for like nothing, crying at nothing. And... Um, going to a meeting really, really helped, but I just, uh, you know, if I, if I got the boys this weekend, which means we're going to go to football tomorrow and then we're going to go and see a spooky show tomorrow, 222, the Danny Robbins play, and we're going to, they're going to go and see mum's new place. So I've got stuff to do, but if they weren't here, I'd, I'd be in bed crying, just crying. And everything's all right. There's nothing going on. Mm. There's just, a part, I, I, it got so bad. I thought, I wonder if I've got COVID or something, because my whole body just felt like empty, it's aching, really aching. I could yeah. went to bed the other day at four o'clock in the afternoon. That was it. I was done for the night. And earlier this week, Monday and Tuesday, I felt I felt really low and sad for no particular reason. Oh. Nothing's changed. Nothing's got any worse. No particular reason. Just felt really low, and that's not like me. Um, and tired and weary, like soul weary. Um, and then the end of this week, my eldest has got really ill. So I wonder whether it's a viral thing, you know. I wonder. Potentially, might be. A, a phys it's so exhausted, you know, and it's been struggling to focus for, for sessions with clients. It's like, really have to go, right, you're here. We, we can sort. We can talk about this in an hour. Just got to be here for an hour. That's it. But um, actually, something the kids at school have pointed out is that it's been January for ages. <laughs> Everyone's over it. Everyone, you yeah. know, everyone wanted it to end. That's true. So maybe Ooh, it's that. That comment, uh, this, the, the, com the reply videos on TikTok, it's like playing a video game. I'm obsessed. The one about did you really get through two ba bags of sand on Charlie's, 1,500 views in a couple of hours. It's like playing a video game. It's like playing a video game. The nutritional healers having a go at me. It's You can cure ADHD. You can fix ADHD. You can treat ADHD with um, the gut gut food, gut food. It's like, right, well, your diet has an impact on a lot of things, but you, got, you, you won't cure it. You, there is no cure for anything. Have you not noticed that yet? There's no cure for anything. Have you not noticed that yet? All right, fuck off. I mean, 
Where did you learn about ADHD, please? What books and studies have you researched? The nutritional healer is asking me. Toxic livers, maybe? Liver is the anger organ. Well, we know that, Alistair, don't we? <laughs> we know that. Um, yes. What the heck is the Ian Lee off of the 11 o'clock show? How do you not have millions of followers? It's coming, Aaron Taylor. It's coming. Honestly, TikTok's like a video game. I love it. Yeah. I've got one one that's had 40,000 views. Uh, also, the liver is an amazing organ because the way it heals itself, um, you know, if you stop drinking and you don't drink again, um, it can come back to full functionality. Absolutely amazing stuff. I mentioned this the other day that when my mum was in the hospital overnight, between 9 p.m. and 5 a.m., and I, we ended up being sat in front of an alcoholic guy. I was there, and I went and had a chat with him and gave my number. He texted me this week, Alistair. Oh, grand. Texted me. Didn't answer my phone call. Didn't didn't accept my invitation to a meeting. I went silent. He texted me again today, saying, I'm not up for phone calls at the moment. I was like, all right. So I'm going to text him a couple of times this weekend. Then I'm going to do nothing, because then it's up to him. I yeah. will let him know that I'm available if he ever wants to talk or go for a coffee or go for a meeting. But I, I'm not going to push it because I can't fix him. He has to want. He has to want it. Um, that's amazing stuff. Yeah. It's magic, it's isn't it, this stuff? And, Catherine, I'll, I'll, to end, I'll just say, when you said about Taylor Swift, who, how much she gives to others, I mean, that's amazing. And... I'd like her to be president of the US. I would, but then that might stop her making cracking pop re records and that would be a great shame. Maybe when she gives up. Maybe when she gives up. She probably doesn't need the she probably doesn't need the aggro to be fair. She's no. uh, if she's not already, she's going to be a billionaire by the end of this year. Imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, guys, have a good weekend. Take care. Oh, Alistair, before yeah. you go. Yeah. I don't know what time it was I'm just saying it was on James O'Brien's show, and let me see. I had a client between ten and eleven. Maybe it was between eleven and twelve. They'd done a report. It's not a name I say very often. I'll say it once. They'd done some investigating on Lawrence Fox. Oh, oh. does anyone know what time it was on? Fuck me. It was, was so. It was so funny. There's all of the stuff about, is it Reclaim? Is that the part? Mm. Someone yeah. from Reclaim has leaked everything about, it was at 12.03. Thank you. It was, uh, it's, um, uh, you there's know, a YouTube. You know he did the hacker in the witness stand. And he used the N word. Yeah. Um, but it's, it, someone was saying about how he would get in late. He'd come in at half past 10, go out for lunch at 12.30, come back and have a nap, would steal laptops. There was a laptop there that was there for an editor. Who's is that? Whose MacBook is that? Oh, I'll take it. Um, it's and um, James said, "Well, of course he, he he ran for London mayor. Maybe he'll be running for London mayor again, or maybe he, he won't be able to because he'll have some acting work." Uh, and it, it, honestly, the reporter and O'Brien were pissing. Them. It was so funny. They were absolutely pissing themselves. I'm not going to play it. But it, it means Sun says it was at 12.03 on today's James O'Brien show. Alistair, if you want to laugh, mate, go and have a... It, it, they treat him with the contempt he deserves. They're just laughing at him for 15 minutes. You might enjoy it. You might enjoy it. Oh, yeah. I got um, James O'Brien's book this week. Is oh, yeah. The, uh, the People Who Broke Britain. Yeah. Which... Um, I've got both of his other books. I should read them yeah. one day, maybe. But I... Um, but uh, one surprise, one that he included, I mean, I suppose I can see it, but I'll have to read it to get the detail, is he included Jeremy Corbyn, um, yep. which is interesting. Yeah. Because, yeah. But anyway, both I'll probably be seeing him next week because I'm taking the kids over to Global for the day. They're going to do a series of workshops. Well, if you see him, say, say if will. it's appropriate, say hello from me. And me. He's always been very, very kind to me, James O'Brien. Always been very, very kind to me. All right. A lot of time for that guy. Grant. All right, then. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. Charles, 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 Charles. I did write down something to talk about, but I, I may not be. Oh, I know. The radiogram. Ah, uh, the radiogram didn't make it. You radiogram know, rip. Some of you will know I, I got a big old radiogram, radio with a record player for 20 quid, massive thing. My friend Dr. Watts uh, works at Marshall Amps. 
uh, took it. To, he, said, he said, I'll see what I can do. And he called me up today and he went, I've got some bad news. There's, I can I can make the speaker a Bluetooth speaker in it, so it's a, but I can't fix any of the radio, cannot fix the record player, cannot fix, it's got this weird knob that controls everything. So he said, I can't, I can't do it. What do you want to do with it? I said, dude, we've got a junk it. I said, I don't want it back here. It's too big. So he's going to put it on a forum, see if anyone wants it for free. Otherwise, it's going to go in a skip. He did say, we learned it was from 1936. So that, the announcement of the war would have been on that. On there. And it cost £18, six shillings or something, which in today's money is £1,350. I know it had woodworm in that, but you make a great drinks cabinet or something. Yeah, you? yeah. Or a bookshelf. Um Here's, here's what I wrote down. You don't see sunroofs on cars anymore, do you? No. That's the end of that. So that's the end of that. Uh, I'm just trying to think if anyone I know has one. Lulu says, take it to the re repair shop. This guy's an expert. This is the kind of guy the repair shop would go to, mm. to say, can you help us with this? Hello, McPauls. Hello, McPauls. Um, oh, uh, lovely to see you both live on here again, says Pixel Sean. Uh, gives me lockdown flashbacks as always. Oh, nice ones, I hope. Got told my radio presenting services are no longer required today, so I'm taking this as a sign. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, love. P.S. Did that company get back to you, Kath? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. This is a consumer rights story. So I have had a problem. Well, basically, my whole house is the house that Jack built, but the um, bathroom upstairs is particularly shonky, and the pump keeps going for the hot water. And the second time it went... My, um, I got a nice plumber in who said, I'll have a word and see if they will upgrade you. By the way, we'll get one that's more powerful. Phone number that's about to come across here is real and it works and you Use can it. call us at any point. So they sold us one and he said, this one will serve the whole house. I've been talking to them. They said this one will serve the whole house. So went in. It was went in in June. It packed up a little bit over Christmas and then kind of kicked back into action. And then last week it went completely. So got the um, plumber back. He came and had a look at it. He got back on the phone to the company. Oh, you see, that's not the spec for using for using for multiple rooms. It's just for the bathroom. Okay, well, you sold it to us on the premise that it would work for all of them. That's why we spent the extra money. Oh, right. Well, we didn't do that. Um, and now you've messed with it. You've um, breached the terms of your warranty. Is what they tried to give me. Now the thing is, I don't know whether you know BBC Three Counties Radio, but I worked on the consumer program for about three years, yep. so I'm quite up with what you are and aren't allowed to do when you're trading uh, and what your rights are as a consumer. So I hit him with the, um, you know, statutory rights chat, the fact that, you know, my contract is with you. The contract was on the basis of the information given at the time. And so I am entitled to a reasonable expectation for quality for the amount that I'm paying. And I'm also entitled to it be, to being fit for purpose. And if I'm given the wrong information, then that contract and the one that you're basing your warranty, which is your policy and not law, uh, on on a house of sand. Oh well, no, that's the way it is. We need to check our tapes for that conversation. Oh come on! And I now. said, you have not got tapes from June. We need to go back. We need to go back. And I said, no. Nah. Okay. Well, I look forward to hearing from you. But I'm just going to write all this down. I'm going to send you the pictures, and I'm going to write to um, the boss of the company because what you're doing there, I'm afraid, makes the contract null and void. If you've sold it me for one purpose, and now you're telling me it's not fit for that, that's your problem, not mine. Anyway, I also put a little bit on Twitter straight away. Please DM us, which is an, uh, an obvious trick for getting people off the pu uh, public platform, right? And getting you into a room where they can talk to you about it. They left me on ice last night. But first thing this morning, I got an email saying, I'm sure there's something we could do. They asked me a few questions and we're going to try and work it out. So there it is. No that you have your statutory rights. And that spiel I, is, works a treat. For I a feel sorry for Robin because it, it feels like, Robin's being told. Oh, Robin's not, Robin is innocent. Robin is not a spokesman for this company. I know my rights, Robin. <laughs> and Robin's there waiting. <laughs> Catherine. Oh, so you're here to defend them. Sorry, I'm not. <laughs> hey, nice to see you, Robin. Been a while. How are you doing? Hi, uh, yeah. Hi, Kath. Not bad. Not bad. Um, I, I, I should call you a bit more often, but um, yeah. That's Where my are thoughts. you now? I'm still in London. I'm, I moved into the studio um, late 2022, and it's lovely. I, love, I like it. And it has air cons. So summertime, my colleagues come here for... For a cool air in the summertime. Could you believe that? All round to Robbins for a bit of cool air, a bit of the Lovely. old CA. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> um, and a bit of a job news. I guess that's probably the reason I'm here. Um, I got an offer from BBC News Channel. So just looking at getting visa sources and WTF. moving on to the next step. WTF. Praise be. <laughs> so um, 
Uh, would, that, would that mean moving to Salford or is that in London based? I'm What's... still in London. It's a broadcasting house. So. Oh, oh. Oh, you're going to be living the dream, Robin. Well, I will see you from time to time, Robin. I think I'm in broadcasting house in a couple of weeks, in fact, unless I can swing it and they let me do it from home. Um, <laughs> oh, that's awesome news, Robin. What Your career, we, we've been there since like, not even day one, since like day minus 100. Yeah, when you're trying to convince your parents to let you stay over here. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. It, what, was, it was a bit tricky. Cause, what uh, a like joy it's been sure. for us Sorry. two old people like us <laughs> to watch, you know, someone young and thrusting get get a career and make progress in that career. It's, it's wonderful to see, Robin. Well, it's very, it's very kind. Thanks, Ian. It's a, it's a long journey. To be honest, I, I couldn't believe I would be doing what I'm about to do um, at the time when I just decided to come to the UK. It was such a long journey. I, I listened to you when you were on the radio back in China, um, come here study in lockdown, got my first job and second job and hopefully a third job that with proper visa. The next I'm looking at potentially getting a permanent residency in the UK but, um, after another three years, I think. But, yeah. you know, one thing, one thing at a time. But last time we spoke to you, you were worried that they were, you were going to get sent home, weren't you? Yeah, because um, the last time it was because I was freelancing with Times Radio and they were, they couldn't, well, they could, but they did choose not to do visa for me. So that went really tricky. And the Home Office basically said, we can't extend your student visa anymore. You just have to go. Um, GB News sort of stepped in. They gave me a um, visa of five years, but then the company is a bit of a, uh, well, I'm going to say anyway, it's going downhill a bit, isn't it? So um, I'm not well, feeling very sad. much loved. <laughs> Um, and I just started looking for jobs. It's really difficult because being a migrant, just don't be a migrant. Being a migrant means it's got so many restrictions and that sort of thing. Um, but hang things, on, so. you're all coming over here stealing our jobs, stealing our um, social service benefits and flats. That's what I've been told. You're telling me it's difficult for you to get a job? What? Well, it's quite difficult. I'm not entitled to any benefits, by the way. Um, no, I, I, I'm, I hope you know that I'm, <laughs> I am completely joking. Of course, it's difficult for people coming over here to get jobs. But, but you read, you know, anyway, 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 go on. <laughs> no, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's a long journey. So basically, I applied for uh, this, this role uh, first day of November last year. And then went back to China to see my family, which is really lovely, by the way. And um, well, I just got home. The second day I got a call from BBC saying, can we do an interview in Podcasting House? And no, I can't because I'm in China. So they, we did it on Zoom. And then the internet wasn't really good. So we just downgraded it to a phone interview at the end, which I told my mum saying, oh, that's not going to work well. Um, and it didn't. So I got a call from them saying, well, you're great, but no. Uh, so, and that's it then. So I came back. Um, that's just, I think, a week before Christmas. I got another call from them saying, well, we'll change our mind. We'll have a six months potentially rolling contract for you. Do you want to give a try? They um, changed I their said, mind in a big way, Robin. <laughs> what did say? Yes. Robin, do you know you've got a Brit bit of a British accent now? Oh, thank you. That's very kind. When you I'm said not... you went, they changed their mind. It was a bit. <laughs> It's not quite a bit. It's a little bit. It's a little bit London going on there. No, not a little bit. There's quite a bit of London going on there now, which I hadn't noticed before. That's very kind of you. I'm always showing. I got. I do have people in my life saying um, my accents is getting a bit more and more posh in a in a, in a southern London-ish southeastern way. I don't know what what way that is, but you know, it, it's funny. It comes and goes. It comes and goes. Very interesting. That's very kind. Um, basically, they got they gave me a call and said, um, you know, that's there's the job. Do you want to accept it? So we just had a bit of a back and forth with the salary and it's all good. Um, and they just asked me to send in documents, visa, that sort of thing. Um, I did all that. It's just because they, they need to sort my paper, the paperwork. So it's kind of taking longer than expected, but it's still on track. Hopefully, uh, by Easter, that's my expectation that I'll be uh, in broadcasting house. That's terrific news. You'll be very handy, very handy person to oh, have around. Okay. I'm thrilled to bits for you. Well done. Thanks very much, Kaz. Oh, How nice. exciting. Congratulations, Robin. Beautiful. I really appreciate you letting us know. I appreciate that. It's just uh, I listened to so many BBC local radio stations when I was in the university, which is quite unusual, I probably can say, for Chinese students, because most of my classmates, they chose CNN or VOA because they yeah. have more American fans and we have a choice when i was in the second year in the uni basically you choose from american pathway and the british pathway and then i think like 90 percent of them went to the american pathways <laughs> i don't know what happened quite but yeah but i'm here so not too bad ah. and we're glad you're here we're glad you're here that's excellent news thank you thanks ian thanks uh, that's that's really just all i'm trying to tell you but that's, all right uh, 
Well, right, it's lovely to see your, your beautiful face and hear oh, your story. We'll, we'll see you I'm soon, so Robin. You. Thank well you. Done. There we go. Good things happening Ooh. to good people. Very quickly, Jimbo's just put a Just Giving link in the chat. Good friend of the show, Coin Gary. His brother-in-law killed himself last June. Um, and so his sister is raising money for the man cave. That link will, will take you there. We also, if you um, click the donate button here, which will pop up there, if you click that link there in the chat, that money comes to us and then we'll move it straight on to, uh, to Gary uh, over or to the Just Giving over the weekend if you want to help out. Oh, who's this phone at this hour? Uh oh, here we go. Get ready, guys. Could be anything. Could be anything. Oh, hello. There is James Bond. He's hiding. He is in. Is he in the tiny boat? I think. Oh, my God. What's happening? Nothing. Please don't show us your genitals. Hello? Hello? Pixel Sean says, are you bringing back TLNA to Twitch with a schedule? No. We do it once a month on Twitch, Sean. If you want it, you got to pay for it. Right, uh, the Patreon. Happening? Hang on. Shut up. The Patreon link. You got oh, Jimbo. You embarrass yourself there, mate. There's the Patreon link. Patreon.com slash Ian and Catherine. This is our full time. No, it's not a full time job. Excuse me. This is one of our jobs. I'm now working as a counselor. Kath's working as a teacher. Um, but we also need and we enjoy doing this, but we need the Patreon money um, to be able to, to afford doing everything. And the only reason we can do these shows is because of the brilliant Patreon supporters we've got who, who pay us uh, to do it. So, Sean, have a look at that. I know you've your work and stuff. Oh, there he is. But um, we do this once a month on here for free, and you're very welcome to join uh, join us for free. And also, if you search on Acast, we put out a free podcast every week. So, go, go, so fill your boots with that. Dean, he's gone now. He's gone again. Dean, come back. Hello. Hi. I have to be quiet. Oh, because I'm in my parents' place. Okay, do they not know you're there? <laughs> they know I'm here, yes. But Okay. You're looking well. You're looking a bit like um, Cat Stevens circa 1971, before Yusuf. the hair grew. Yusuf, yeah. Yes. He became Muslim. Um, he did. And my... he was, he. Um, when I was working at HMV, I think it was 1995, it was the, it was, or, or six, I which, it was when Anthology, with Beatles Anthology, Robson and Jerome were out. And also, um, Yusuf uh, released his first album in about 20 years. And it was a big thing. It was the most returned album we had because people thought it would be, I'm being followed by. And it wasn't, it was like an alphabet album for uh, for kids for primarily you know for muslim kids and everyone went no nah, mate not having that wasn't what they were after wasn't Aww. what we wanted anyway you, you one of my favorites HMV? i worked in hmv in slough yeah wow yeah so stay there sinjin i'm going to come to you in a second i've got news for you um yeah i don't have much to say i'm looking for a new flat in brighton oh, okay it's all fallen through though Okay. So I'll probably be going back up to London, yawn, I'm bored of London. Yeah, everyone's bored of London. It means we're bored of life. Huh? Yeah, exactly. Who said that? Was it Samuel Pepys? I think it was Pepys. Was it Pepys? No. Yeah, it's the Diary of a London or some some BS. Um, hey, Google. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. I can never get the voice right. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Who said if a man is bored of London... Oh, it's George Bernard Shaw. Ah, was that a woman? No, you're thinking George Eliot. That was a woman. George Bernard uh, Shaw wrote Pygmalion, which became My Fair Lady. No, it's not. It's Samuel Johnson. Time out, Mango Cheese. Oh, Mango Cheese. Time out, Mango Cheese. He sold as a pup. Oh, my goodness. Time out, Mango Cheese 75. In case there's any other Mango Cheeses there. Anyway. I'm eating again. It's all great. It's all fantastic. I'm no longer vegan. I am vegan, but I won't tell you why. But I'm, it's too complex. Um, I'm vegan, sort of. Um, I've been eating meat. That's not particularly vegan, is it? No. It's slightly it, out of the vegan ven. It is vegan if you don't believe that the world is real. Okay. So there are no animals that are actually suffering. Okay. It's all simulated. How is that? Uh, how's that? How's that medication going? <laughs> I don't, <laughs> Actually, it's funny you should mention that. I am thinking of changing medication. I want to get rid of the voices. Yeah, well, it, well yeah. They cause me pain and aggravation. 
and I think it may help me sleep at night. You take medication as well, don't you? I know you may not wish to discuss this. I take medication for my bipolar. One of them is an antipsychotic. One of them is, I don't know, I don't know what it is. But yeah, one one brings the highs down a bit and, and one lifts the lows up a little bit. And does it help you sleep when you take it at night? Oh, yes. Does it? Well, the antipsychotic oh, kind of, I made the mistake of taking them in the morning once. I was absolutely fucked. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, it does. But yeah, I would have thought you were, were you schizophrenic, paranoid schizophrenic. What was the paranoid schizophrenic? So right. they say. I don't believe a word. So they it, say. Really. Well, I would I would listen to what the doctors say. I, you're right to question <laughs> them, but I would listen to them. Yes, I would have thought you would. The, the getting rid of the voices would be a key thing to aim for. It's certainly worth talking to your mental health team about it. But then, who would I talk to during the day? I get lonely without them. They're my friends. Don't you be love you? <laughs> I don't know. I, do you know? I always feel a little bit uncomfortable talking to you about this because I'm aware that that some people might think we're making light of this. And I think in the past, perhaps I have made light of this because I didn't quite realise, you know, how uh, serious your condition is. And I'm going to be honest. In I, I don't know what to say because part of me worries. Right, you oh, think yeah. you you have I got this right? You think the whole thing's a simulation, and we are either actors or we're bots or we're AI or something. I don't know. Yes, that is exactly what I believe. Well, part of me worries that by talking to you on the show, we are perpetuating and making worse your illness. Oh, that's my I, concern. I don't think it is. Also, we saw your dick because, once. So be, what? No, we I don't think it's making it worse because um. Well, I, I believe I believed all this stuff for like about fifteen years anyway. So it's nothing changes. Nothing changes. Love forever changes, but everything changes. But you, but nothing changes. Well, listen, it's nice to see you doing well. Okay. Um, it's nice that you're eating. That's always that's that's always good. Yes. Um, and you know, it's nice to see your beautiful little face. Oh, how lovely! Thank you, Ian. You're, you're beautiful welcome, too. So's Catherine. Luck. Oh, thank you. Good luck with Brighton. I hope you find the right place. Well, I'll probably go back up to London, boring, but um, but well, actually, before I go, it's very boring, but um, because it's all my personal life, but um, because uh, what is it? London. No one wants my flat up in London. I'm trying to do a house swap, and no one wants it because it's up four flights of stairs with no lift. Okay. So, if I go back to my landlord and say I need a new flat because I can't walk up it anymore because of my surgery then they're bound to give me a flat on the ground floor. And then perhaps a few years from now, then I can move to Brighton. But anyway, all right, all I'll right. leave you to it. What, all what right. are, you doing? are you going to watch El Dorado in a minute? We're going to watch some El Dorado in a little bit, yes. Okay, see you later, man. Thanks a lot. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. I tell you, I'm Bye. having fun here. There's a slight delay on the screen. So look at the screen, right? So yeah. you can see your eyes clearly, mm -hmm. right? Don't move your head. Look to the left and look back. You see your eyes move. A bit, yeah. I fucking love that shit. You're weird. I love that shit. Sinjin's in the house. I would like him to be on the screen. I feel a bit sick, actually. I got a bit of a headache and I feel a bit nauseous. Something's not right with me. Hey, Sinjin. Baby boy, you've been on my mind. Fulfill my fantasy. <laughs> I had an email today. Uh, Sinjin, have you lost quite a lot of weight? Holy shit. I have lost quite a lot. Hang on. Have Let you me been back popping up. off or something? Are you going to the gym? Uh, a little bit, a little bit. Hang on. Oh, like, holy shit! Sinjin, that's a pretty decent amount of weight. How do you, f how are you finding losing it and keeping it off? Because I believe that can be the the bigger part of the challenge in many ways. Um, I f I feel like it's been equal parts of the challenge. To be fair, I think a lot of it for me uh, has come down to um, like calorie. So a lot of what happened was. Being Slim Jim, everyone's definitely. saying in the chat. Literally everyone is saying <laughs> Slim Jim. And Gatford saying swipe right. <laughs> That's fine. I'll take it. Um, my beard is a mess right now. Um, so a, a lot of it was just being in a calorie deficit and just like burning more calories than I was taking in. So it must have came with like, oh, I don't know. Maybe he was. I, I, that's that's how his I'm... business. It's the what? What did he say? Are you, uh, I believe you call it jerking off. Oh, that, that's didn't change at all okay the good lad. frequency yeah stay the same um yeah it, it was just like eating less and just like portion control and stuff like that so i only eat like a thousand calories a day 
And like when you figure out like what like your I can't remember it's like BMR or something like your base metabolic rate, you can figure out like how much your body burns like every day without like doing any exercise. So if you add in exercise, it's a bunch. So it's just like eating habits more than anything, more than like exercise and stuff. But I want to start like lifting. I don't know if you guys have ever seen my brother, but he's a gorilla. He's just like a big, beefy, muscly boy. So um, Holy I shit. think I'm going to start lifting and getting a little swole, as the kids say. <laughs> swole. Can I read you guys an email? I don't, don't know if you saw up, this. Like, you, those people that can't yeah. put their arms down. Those this oh, this no, came I'm to the that. Late Night Alternative. It was from Michael. Hi, it's King underscore Mike UK. Recognize that name, Sinjin? I, I do recognize that I name. I started following you guys, talking to me and Catherine, when you started on Twitch. I don't know if he's here. Mike's here and was somewhat of a super fan for a while. One of your early raids... Did you read this today? No. One of your early raids has led me on to the most amazing period of my life. Oh. Do you know where this is going, Sinjin? You know the story, I'm guessing. I have an idea. Did he find Amaranth? Going. You took me to <laughs> Sinjino. He has been the greatest friend I've ever had and a big reason for me coming out of my shell finally and after 15 years, I feel loved again. This story is wild, right? Ah. Oh. Mm-hmm. I recently started talking to a woman within his community and have really hit it off. Hit it off. We know what we both eventually want in life and know the obstacles we need to overcome to get there. She lives in Buffalo, Buffalo New York, and I live in crappy old Mansfield, Nottinghamshire. Just wanted to thank you both for that one particular raid all those years ago and the amazing path it has led me down. Maybe one day I'll have to change my name to King underscore Mike US. Sorry if this has been a spaghetti mess of an email. He put at email, but I let him off. And feel free to, please don't read this out. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, well. Anyway, uh, (laughs) that's right. What an amazing email to get. And it's like by raid, by stumbling and raiding people we didn't know. A whole chain of events has come off. He's become part of Sinjin's community and has potentially found the love of his life. It's Quantum Leap again. What? We had to click on your image, Sinjin, for him to find love. That's an amazing... Yeah. Uh, Mike, I, you know, I, don't, I don't think you're here live, but if you listen to this back or whatever, and I've, I've replied back, that's amazing. That's great. That's, how does that feel? So we touch people's lives every day and make them better. It's what we've been doing for, for 20 <laughs> years. But, but when you... And I know you know that story, Sinjin, obviously. Mm-hmm. How does that feel to you, being part of a story like that? It feels like I'm not responsible for it. Like, regardless of what they want to say about it, because I, this is like new news, so it's it's like a, a whirlwind of, of emotions and stuff. And um, So, yeah, it, it's super cool. I love them to death. I'm super happy for them. I'm happy for both of them. I, I love both of them so much. Steph is a little bit... Ooh, the person is a little bit newer to the community. I don't know. Fuck it. It's That's live. okay. It's, it's the internet. It's about five it steps again. on the internet. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, like, I, I love both of them to death. I, I wish nothing but the best for both of them. Um, it is the butterfly effect. You know, yeah. if we hadn't have found you, I don't, I, I, and my memory, so I don't even remember the first time that we found you, but if we hadn't have done our show and then flicked through the just chatting, let's find, oh, let's, this guy looks interesting, boom. All of these things happen and, and we never I, really know the full extent of, of what we do. Did I ever tell you, like, it's the craziest coincidence that you guys found me just because that was the only, that was the first time that I was ever in just chatting and I was in it for maybe five minutes just because I was eating while I was streaming. And I was like, oh, let's go and just chatting wow. while I eat food. And then you guys saw, because I watched the VOD. Every time that somebody raids me, I, like, go back and I watch their VOD. And I'm like, what made them, like, choose yeah. me? And I watched it, and, like, Kath was like, oh, he looks fun. He's got, like, a fun, like, shirt on. Because I was wearing, like, my Mrs. Nesbitt Toy Story shirt. Yes. And, like, just everything, I guess, about my background was welcoming. So you clicked it. And then I, I was just, like, chilling. And you were like, yeah, let's go. And I was like, hooray. So, Yeah. I've known I've known Mike for I think it's like three and a half years now, which is like it's mad. I've known you guys for three and a half years now because he's been there since the beginning. A lot of people have been there since like you guys came over. So I hope you get an invite uh, to the wedding. Cass can do a Scylla and buy a hat. Says so don't a few people know the hat and Lily's got the hat as well. Yeah, it's wild, right? It's wild. <laughs> I honestly I read that email. I, re- I read all the emails we get, and I don't always reply to them, but I read them all. Um, and you read something like that, it's like holy shit. Just, just, just take a second to acknowledge the uh, and how great that he he wanted to tell share the story as well. Yeah. So King Mike, wherever you are, 
Magic. And a mysterious other person whose name we don't know. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Are you streaming much? Because we're, we're down to one show a week on Patreon on a Friday mm-hmm. night. And it's going from two to one is the best thing because it had become a chore again mm-hmm. and going down to one it's a laugh we've remembered king mike's just joined hey, hey. you just missed it all you muppet I'm not doing it again but mega boom bass no it, we've we're not doing it again mike you have to go back and watch the vod but going down to one show a week congratulations mike congratulations yes. congratulations has, has, has brought back the joy of it ain't making as much money but has brought back the joy of it are you but we, we're I see not you on tiktok a lot sinjin yeah uh so i was doing i started like what is it like 20 days ago i started like a stream every day for a 100 days thing um on so tiktok came, uh, no on on twitch oh, okay I've been streaming almost every day on twitch i there's been a couple of days where i've just taken like mental breaks because so like the whole reason i didn't even like plan on starting it i just been having like a rough rough first month of the year uh so i was like i can either like wallow in it and like kind of shut everything out or i can like try and embrace it and just like kind of push through it so i was like fuck it we'll just stream every day and it started off really good and i was like doing like walks and stuff because i have like this treadmill right here so i was doing walks and stuff every day and it started off pretty good and then like just things just kept getting (laughs) progressively more tough so uh, I think it was like at the beginning of this week, I had to take a break from it. Uh, and then I took a break yesterday. But I never said fully that it was going to be 100 days in a row. So it's just going to be a 100 day stream this year. I think 100 days out of 365 at least is a pretty, a pretty good market to hit. So I've been streaming a good amount. We haven't, we haven't been on, uh, I think it's the 21st, December the 20th or 21st was the last time we were on Twitch. I couldn't remember to set it up. Last month was the first time in four years we hadn't made enough mm. to get our 100 quid or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Twitch is such a, Twitch is, it, it's so, it feels so 2020, so 2021. It, it, I mean, they've, they've laid off about 300 people recently mm-hmm. and i don't see it twitch is going to go on much longer in the way that people can stream to three other people because that's what's costing amazon money the, mm-hmm. the, the people that are streaming to five thousand ten thousand fifty thousand that's the the you know that's how they're making money but i don't see how it can carry on being a free platform for people to go Do you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna play some Fortnite tonight and just see if anyone wants to join me i think that it's wild that they haven't implemented more more ways for amazon to tap into it like a lot of google stuff because like google doesn't like restrict how many people can use youtube you know but because google is like a a search engine and all these other things tied into one they can make money hand over fist from advertisers and then just from advertising their own services and amazon needs to capitalize on that like all these ads that we see like underneath of streams and stuff like that should just be amazon redirecting you to amazon to go buy stuff like TikTok does it shamelessly. Every time I scroll on TikTok, it's like every other video is a TikTok shop thing. Yeah. Why can't Amazon do it? What the and, like, fuck is this TikTok? Because oh, I'm new to TikTok, right? And I my aim is I've, I've gone <laughs> in two weeks. I've gone from 400 to two and a half thousand followers. Awesome. I want to get to 10,000 because then you can make money. And I'm really enjoying doing is a little. I've set myself a little silly challenge, Sinjin. I want to mm. do a TikTok that gets 100,000 views. And I'm not making a big thing about it. It's just, well, that's my challenge. I'm going to have a little go at that. Right. Um, but I'd never seen the TikTok shop. Mm. And it's just like what they, my dad would call tut. It's shit. Buy this shit. It's only three, oh, it's only three quid. It's like drop shipping. Yeah, it's, it's exactly what, what it is. Is Oh, Twitch is getting rid of 500 plus jobs, not 300. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, DJ Black. What, so what is the Twitch? I saw my friend. I got, my friend is an actor over here, a guy called Paul Danan, really nice bloke. But he was advertising this oh. ring, this ring that you can use as a credit card. I'm thinking, well, that's not safe. Katie Price is doing it. That's not safe. You can use, I've got all my bank details in and you just touch it. That's not safe. Yeah, that sounds wild. I would Stop typing that. in the chat while you're talking to us, Sinjin. People are yelling at me. Stop. It's always focus. my time zone that's a problem. I'm sorry. Focus. I'm focusing. But yeah, it, it's wild. Some of the stuff, I did, what did I buy? I bought a comforter 
off of the TikTok shop. I Is a comforter a dummy? No, a blanket. Blanky. Yeah, like a like a big blanket set. I bought that. And I know some people that have bought a lot of stuff, but because it's just drop shipping, like I think it's just like Hang on a minute. I did, like, you've said that twice. Someone's but I don't know what drop shipping is. I said I did, but I don't know what it is. It's just mass fab factory stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it's just like basically somebody like taking it like Timu and AliExpress and stuff like that. With her they nose, like take Gary. it basically from the factory and like just like say that it's their product and then they yeah. just like send it out. I'm just getting in there first. Visionary says, bought perfume on TikTok. My experience was quite good. Gary's written, how do you smell with her nose? I'm just getting in there first. <laughs> I'm getting in there first. Don't read the chat while we're talking. Oh, it's my, it's my chat. Getting this guy to concentrate. Are you, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> is Timu a con? Well, my, my my eldest had some headphones that he bought from Timu six months ago for three quid, and he says they're still doing the job. My boss at school seems to think that Timu welcome, is something Gary. that is just trying to entice us in with all the deals, and then suddenly they'll start to um, increase the prices, and it'll be a rival to Amazon. That's his suspicion. What is it? Could be. What is it with the films that are specifically made for Netflix with them looking yellow? Oh, do you know what I mean? Right, I started watching just because I wanted to have a doze. So I wanted to doze in front of the telly. I thought I'd put a shit film on. And I put on that fi that Kevin Hart film where they've got a robber, an aeroplane, right? And it's one of those crappy Netflix. And it looks, it looks yellow. It's all green screen to up, uh, right? Every, they're not even in a room. Nothing is real, right? They're not even in a room. It's all green screen. But they look really yellow, and they're really they badly made. They've, they've quite off. Well, I don't know what it is. Does anyone know? Does anyone know? So someone knows. Does, any, does anyone know what I mean? They just look yellow. Netflix. I stopped my Netflix subscription when they changed the main actor for The Witcher. I oh. cancelled my Netflix. Then I watched it. I, I sub signed up again, even though it's now ten ninety nine a month because I wanted to watch Bloodhounds. There's another Korean drama that's set in the future where they don't have oxygen, and then I'm out. <laughs> Every That's time you solid. think you're out, they keep pulling you back in, though. Let's no, be honest. Not ne I nearly signed up for a, a year on uh, my on Odeon because they it was 120 quid for a year, and I thought uh, I get overwhelmed by how many different apps there are now with Peacock and Paramount Plus and HBO Max and Hulu and all this other stuff. So I I just like stay out of it for the most part. I'm like I can't. It's it. Everybody was like, oh yeah, it'll be so much easier and cheaper than cable. But now I feel like if you try and get all the different streaming services to get access to all the different shows, it's just as much, if not more, than yeah. cable was. Yeah. So here we go. Here we go. It's real. Why does here we go? Jimbo's post this. Why does yellow filter keep popping up in American movies? April the nineteenth. This is four years ago. A uh, new trailer for its recently released Chris Hemsworth film e Extraction. The, the trailer, uh, blah, blah, blah. the trailer had an unexpected consequence. Viewers quickly noticed the footage of the movie being filmed looked normal, while the final final cut has a distinct and off-putting yellowish tint. There's a phrase for this. It's called yellow filter, and it's almost always used in movies that take place in India, Mexico, or Southeast Asia. Say, I feel like that's what I've seen. Is like when they're like. When they oh, take place in that location, that's they're trying when to they show it's it. being dusty and dirty. Is that the idea? Back in the day, right when I worked on movie one, right, we wanted to show the place to look uh, dusty and dirty. Do you know what we did? Put dirt, dust and dirt. Before a shot, the assistant director goes, "Smoke up." You get your smoke machines. You bellows. go down low. No, 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 no. You wouldn't even have bellows. The bellows. No, no. People, you start off with bellows, and people go, "No, no, no. It's not you do it." So you go in low with the smoke machines. You go in low. You go in low. All you want is a bit of cardboard and you waft it. Vroom, waft. Vroom, vroom. Then you let it settle. Let it settle. Hold it. Roll in. Speed. Action. You get the right moment. It looks like a dusty room. Smoke. Smoke. Smoke up. Smoke in the cardboard. Smoke up. And you waft it. Waft it. I did that. My first job on uh, my first job in Pakistan wasn't my first job. My first job, my first, I remember the first shot they filmed in Pakistan and I had to do something was I had to smoke, smoke up, tss, waft. They don't shout waft. Yeah, they do. <laughs> and then I had to get behind a door and pull a door open. And I thought, and I'm there going, well, this looks shit. It looks really smoky <laughs> on, on celluloid. Magic. It looks dust. It looks waft. <laughs> smoke up. <laughs> Waft, wafting, sir. You go, you go, wafting, sir. Wafting, sir. You say, you call the director, sir. Wafting, sir. 
No, you're not. It's like etiquette, and no one fucking does it. But the my the guy I was working with, Campbell Mitchell, he said, "You call the director, sir." So, but no one else is doing it. He said, "It doesn't matter. That's the etiquette. You 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 don't give a shit what anyone else is he doing." Told the you that, did he? Well, no, you could call him, sir. Wafton, sir. Speaking of, my mind is going a thousand miles an hour right now. Did you guys see that new movie that Jordan Peele is doing called Monkey Man? That's like kind of like a Bollywood film. Yeah, it's not. got the dude from yesterday in from EastEnders in. Oh, okay. I haven't seen EastEnders. It looks really cool, though. It's like an action movie, but it has like comedy yeah. elements to it. I like Jordan Peele very much. Yeah. I'll, I I'll do too. Although his like film about the spaceship above a farm was that Jordan Peele? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was uh, shit. What is it called? Oh. Um, nope. That film is was it? nope. I think that, it's like part of nope. like the Get Out. No, nope. um, us. Hang on, we can do a bit of an Abbott and Costello here. What was the film called? Nope. I'm just asking you. What was it called? Nope. Don't need to be rude about it. Do you know what the film was called? I'm telling you, I, nope. Okay, so you don't know what the film was called? Nope. Does he know what the film was called or not? Do you know what the film was called? Nope. Got to say nope. Nope. All right, final question. <laughs> what was the film called? Nope. Are you refusing to tell me or you don't know? Nope. Ah, screw this guy. Get out. <laughs> no, no, that was the other one. <laughs> that, that, that one above, about the, uh, the spaceship above a farm was rubbish. What was that one called? Yeah, I... I didn't like that one either that much. Uh, us and us and Get Out were really good. Mm. Nope was kind of like uh, I don't know. Is which like one is us the one with the people underground? Yeah, the doppelgangers. Oh, I love that. Yeah, yes. us was, yeah. I love yeah. that. Did I we see that in the picture? Really yes, because for the inclusion of that that shot. Yeah. I and then you pan out that. and you see that there's loads. Yeah, I was like, hey, uh, Jim, can you time out everyone that's saying Nope was brilliant? You heathen. Oh, it was just you saying that. Uh, yeah, isn't it good that there are? Isn't it good when there are like exciting filmmakers making it? When when there are films coming up, we go, oh yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to the Beekeeper, Jason Stratham, Nicholas Boye. Oh, are you guys allowed to have my neon sign on? I know you guys have had worse than that in the what, background. What is it? What is it? A pussy. It, oh, it's like the back of one. <laughs> okay, Just we could we can't really late. see. I thought it was Italy. Good. It, it means Sun says, I liked that other alien movie last year. Noon will save you. Peter Noon will save you. Wow. What are you talking about? Do you know what I'm looking forward to? Wicked. Like That's the, coming out, isn't it? Are they remaking it? Yes. Uh, Ariana I'm, Grande. It's going to be Glinda. I've never actually seen Wicked. They, nor have I. They've been filming it around here. Oh, fuck. The film's name is Nope. I'm so sorry, Sinjin. I, I totally got confused there. The film is called Nope. That's the name. And he was, I was saying, do you know what it's called? And he's saying Nope. And I thought he was being rude. It's the, that was the name of the film. So sorry, everyone. I'm up to speed. Let's carry on. Waft. <laughs> waft. It's waft. <laughs> I say waft. It's waft. Why? Smoke up. Waft or waft? Waft. What do you like, say, waft? say waft? Wafting, sir. We don't say waft. Waft sounds weird. Wafting, sir. Shut up, King Mike. How dare you? We spent 20 minutes bigging you up. We made you. We can destroy you, King, <laughs> King Mike. We brought you in. We can just someone ban King Mike from the I chat. said the other day, I feel like Frankenstein, and he's my little Frankenstein's monster. Recently. <laughs> I feel like Dr. Frankenstein. Well done. Well done. It is the monster. <laughs> but yeah, I got to figure out what's going on. Uh, apparently, my mom got fired today. Oh. <laughs> what she was she uh is she um hang on we're doing, oh, we're doing no, jokes don't do a bit. Jokes. it might be bad wait she it, um the, she the the cannonball lady in a circus oh. in which case brilliant she's doing her job she got fired today did she brilliant well done i'm proud of your mum so, so for carrying on <laughs> that great tradition of human cannonballs do Cam people still do that? Cannonballs? Human cannonballs. We saw one. We went to a circus a couple of years ago, me and the boys, and it was his name was um uh it, it, uh Dangerous it, Brian. No, it was something like <laughs> um Mr. Super America or something like that. Okay. And he was all in the stars and stripes. Uh, I see. So for legal reasons he wasn't allowed to be a captain no. of America. Okay. And I, it did a human cannonball. I'd never seen it before. Lieutenant I had America. never seen it before, and I hated every second of it. <laughs> Risky Rick Adventure Clive is a suggestion. There was also 
there was a juggler, right? And he was doing this juggling thing where he's juggling and he'd, he'd like pull his trousers and a ball would go. And he kept getting, I think oh. he was pissed. Oh. He kept getting it wrong, kept dropping, dropping it. And oh, I'm thinking, no. oh, this is awful. Please just go, please job. just go. And he, 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 he just kept doing it until he got, I could have done it and got it right. The first circus I ever took the kids to, they had a glow in the dark uh, act where they had like hula hoops and they were doing, they were juggling. The hula hoop kept falling down. Yeah. The balls were going everywhere. It was mayhem. The only thing we couldn't see glowing in the dark was the man's face because he was obviously it must have been yeah. very embarrassed but it was just like oh this makes it so much better seeing it it work i don't like acrobatics it makes me so uncomfortable i don't like juggling so much pressure or fire eating oh i love a bit of fire eating and if we're taking it to the streets i do not like the human statues Oh, I like a good human no, statue. No, but I did see a wicked thing once, which I always look out for now in Covent Garden, and I've never seen it again. It was a, it was a, it was like a rabbit cage, and the man's head was the rabbit. Yep, seen that. Oh my god, it was so weird. Singe. So his head was inside the cage, like dressed as the whole rabbit. It had ears and a man's oh. face with a rabbit's nose and a tail. So he's like it. a furry. Yeah, but just like just from the neck up. Mm, I think we're supposed to shame. I am publicly. in next week. I'm taking Catherine to a secret concert. Right, something is popped this, up in my timeline. I don't know this how. Doesn't feel secret anymore. Seek well. He the, won't tell me what it is. Evening, I, Jeffrey. He told me I have to dress up now. Last time I had dress up nice girl. I'm taking you out. We ended up at Mecca Bingo in Stevenage. I didn't trading say. Estate. I didn't say dress up nice. <laughs> Mecca but Bingo I did win. I said though. dress up glam. Okay. Well, I always dress up glam. I was wearing gold heels at the bingo where everyone else was in track slacks. <laughs> Let's just say, right, I don't know how this popped up, up on my timeline. Off the numbers. <laughs> Something popped I up. I did on... win those engine, 500 quid. Didn't, didn't spe- split it. Some, something popped up on my timeline that I, and I was like, this is, this is so weird. This has popped up. And basically it is, um, to, well, this, this won't give it away. So we're going to go and see a band. And I know someone in the band. And I haven't spoken to that person for 15 years. And today I messaged them and said, oh, my God, I can't believe we haven't spoken this long. You're playing a gig near me. I'm going to I'm going to come along oh. and we can have it. We can have a catch up. Right. It's someone I've not seen for well, 15 years. And um, you're coming. And you are going to have. The time of my life. One of the great times of my life. This is going to be the time of the week. I'm, I'm, time of the month. I am calling it. You're going to come <laughs> out of and go, do you know what? That was the best concert I've ever been to. Better than Kiss. Yeah. You want to shake on it? Yeah. Do you want to shake on yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to come out and say, all right, Ian, fair play. You were right. That is the best concert I've ever been to. Yeah? Okay. Oh! Oh! And I'll tell you more about it. After we've been, uh, so you won't. So it's next <laughs> Saturday. Next. So two weeks. Sign up to the Patreon for that. Honestly, it, this thing popped up in my time. Like, it totally freaked me out. And it, I've been chatting to someone who I've not, I've not spoken to for fifteen years. And it's one of those things. Why did we stop talking? And it, life, life. So, so in your timeline, did the concert come up, and then you realised that person was involved in it, or did the person? It come wasn't up even in. It wasn't even on Facebook. It just popped up as an advert somewhere. Maybe it even been on TikTok. But did you know that person was connected to the band when you got involved? Yeah. Yeah. And that's mm. why I reached out mm. and said, I've just seen an advert for you and I think I'm going to come along and see Can you. Can I have some free tickets, please? I didn't, wasn't asking for free tickets, okay. but I got them. Oh, oh, oh right. there you go. I got them. Um, you, go. you are going to, honestly, guys, you're in two weeks' time, sign up to the three ninety nine plus VAT tier because in two weeks' time, it, it's going to be a little bit of the old HP, the humble pie is going to be. It better not eaten. be. It better not be the beautiful South. Oh, for fuck's sake! Can I not? Can I not plan anything without you <laughs> guessing it? <laughs> it's not, is it? I used to know Paul Heaton a long time ago because he came no you on, didn't shut up he came on the 11 o'clock not, show you would not it, that he, old top loader you know he, he's out he came on Rise right and we, we weren't friends but we knew each other how can I just do I still think you're going to love it I think you're going to love it I think I'm busy you're going to love it. You're going to love it. What day is it again? You're going to come backstage. You're going to meet. It's not It's not Beautiful South. It's just him and her. I don't even remember what her name is. Um, but it, it's like going to be, it's a small gig. It's an inter- Jimbo says, if it's the Beautiful South, it's the best thing ever. 
Well, take Jimbo. It's not, it's not the beautiful South. It's the two of them. No, it's not. No, it's not. You will have a great night I'm there. I'm not coming. He is such a nice bloke. Don't say that because he might be, see why this. Why should I coming? What's, wait, what, why wouldn't it's you really go? It's really not my flavour, but you can take Jim. You can take Jim. Jim, would you like to come I'll and have go. the best? Get up. I'll go. I don't even know what the beautiful South is. Yeah, that's why you want they to go. They do good pop songs that Catherine hates, but actually, if she goes... <laughs> anyway, we're not even going to... Let's not do this on here, because he might be watching. <laughs> <laughs> he won't. It'll be boring someone else. Fucking hell. Sturgis. All right, well, luckily I haven't got to get a refund on those tickets. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, take so me to Top Loader instead. So ungrateful. <laughs> Gratitude is it's 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 a it's a tough word for some people to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have a nice well, time. I'm excited to hear about the aftermath now. <laughs> so I guess that kind of like helps you decide how you're going to dress. Yeah, I'm going to be wearing my pajamas at home. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to have seriously. You're going to walk out of the venue. And say, look at me, go, Ian, do you know what? You're right. That was the best gig I've ever been to. <laughs> Those are going to be your no, words. Those are going to be your words. I'll say, what's your name again? We never speak of this again. Guys. I'm walking home. You're, you're, you're bear witness, as I swear on, on God and the Holy Bible. You bear witness to oh, this. Oh, if it's a lighthouse family and, and uh, it, it, warming up, then that really is the... It's none of, honestly, it's none of those, right? It's none of those. You're going to come out. You're going to say, Ian, do you know what? <laughs> I'm not going to say this. I can guarantee you're it. You're going to say that. We're going to record it. We're going to we're, we're going to film it. I'm going to film it, and she's going to go, Ian. Get get the get the phone. Get the phone because I have to do this. Publicly. You know what? That's you so were me. right. That is that's the best gig I've ever been to. That's the 100k view TikTok Duncan. right there. Honestly, you have got no idea what you're in store for. I don't know if he's just bluffing about the whole thing, though. Oh, what do you I mean by bluffing about him. the whole thing? I'm, I'm not a man of bluff. I'm a man of fluff. <laughs> Mark my words. A professional fluffer, if you will. Sinjin, I'll, I'll message you and tell you what it is. Jimbo, I'll, I'll Jimbo say. says, is it Chris Cross? Okay. It's not. It's Chris, and she'll be cross. I think one, I think Cross is actually dead. Did one of them die? Unlucky, mate. The other one will be furious then. Right. I'm just stuck, though. <laughs> That's not funny. Stop no. laughing, everyone. It's not funny. <laughs> DJ Otzi <laughs> says Charlie Wolf. Hey, hey, baby. Who? <laughs> ha! That sounds awesome. Yeah. I'd be much more interested in that. But again, <laughs> right, we I'm should probably look up the beautiful South. We should Go probably on. watch some El Dorado. Did you just mind sucking a? <laughs> no. <laughs> Quite the opposite. That's a wild a less reaction. fun pastime. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna watch some El Dorado, great what, British. What did they say? Saltburn fingers for pudding. <laughs> what did they say? Fingers for pudding. When you fingers. Throw up, oh, you know, horrible. Saltburn is a terrible thing. Have you seen Saltburn? I hate it. <laughs> I hate Saltburn. It's it is terrible. Anybody who says I that it's good it. is just weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> I gave up after 25 minutes. I thought it was boring. I watched the whole thing. Oh, you didn't even get to the worst parts then. Didn't get to the house. The worst no. parts that everybody talks about. Did you get to the bathtub? About. Oh, hey, say, yeah. To the um, just to smoke a just to smoke a rolly. Uh, yeah. Okay. Good. Oh, hey, you know I all go, I wish I want to have sex with you, but I'm not gonna say it. Oh, I was smoking that, a rolly. Is that Scouse? What is it's, that? It's his approximation, yes. Oh, yeah. I really want to have sex. I want to look at your bum. I want to kiss your bum. But we're both men. You he know, smoking his, a rolly. He licks his plug hole. Oh, I want to lick your plug hole. <laughs> yeah, drink your bath water. Lick your bath. Dancing to that song by that lady. Murder on the dance floor. Yeah, I'm just smoking <laughs> a like rolly. That song. that song is probably the best part of that just whole movie. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Just smoking a rolly. Yeah, you know. Just smoking a rolly. Is that all right? Do you mind? Can I smoke a rolly? I lick my bum yeah, hole. It's, it's a real Bath weird hole. thing. And then I see like people like having competitions in the in the comments of TikToks that talk about how like weird it was, and they're like, "Oh, if you think that's weird, you haven't seen this movie." And Human I'm like, centipede "My too. morbid curiosity is <laughs> kind of like, should I try it? But I, I don't want it. to." Citizens on patrol. <laughs> Citizens on too. patrol. Yes, the human centipede, uh, the human centipede too. Oh, citizens, on human <laughs> citizens on patrol. Citizens on patrol. Shitizens. 
Oh, what was yeah. that film we watched? <laughs> Which one? Where evil lurks. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, no. No. Those, the, whoever wrote that needs a letter home to his mother. We were, we we wanted, were very disturbed by his latest story in class. We wanted to... So we well, let's, watch a, let's watch a film. Let's see if we can find something. Let's put something spooky on. Let's put something spooky on. And then we're flicking through Prime. I thought, I'll even rent a film. I'm, I'm feeling flush. And where evil lurks popped up, and it's an Argentinian horror film. It got like eight or something on IMDb. I went, let's just watch this. This will be, it won't be that scary. Oh, straight off. It was straight off. It hits the ground running. Cindy, you'd be screaming all the way through it. it we were screaming. Relentless. You think it's over. It's not over. It's going to get worse. You get you think- five minutes breather in the middle. That's it. I don't think even that. I Three. don't think even that. There were no light moments. There were no moments of, oh, now everyone can just relax. Maybe it's going to be... It was dark. It was dismal. It, there was no hope all the way through it. It got worse oh, and worse mate. and worse. There was a very hairy ass all the way through, and that couldn't even make us laugh. Well, it was dark. It, uh, yeah, it was It was bleak, man. I'm going to anyway. watch it. I have the trailer up for it. Do, Apparently yeah, it's free do, online. Don't watch the trailer. Don't watch the trailer. Don't watch the trailer. Just, oh, just go in cold. Line. Go in cold. Go in cold. Okay. Dave okay. says, went to yeah, see I'll Texas Chainsaw at the Flicks last week. Oh, I love I loved Texas Chainsaw. One of my favourite, favourite movies. But I prefer the old, like, seventh generation VHS copy as opposed to the 4K. Those films like that need to be watched. Sinjin, have quality. you seen Talk To Me? No. no. Th- there's another I one. I don't see a lot of stuff. There's another one. Talk you would think with all the, the kids free time the, that uh, I have, I could see more stuff. Oh, yeah, that was good. That was an Alistair recommendaziana. It's like an A24 film. Alistair? Uh, Sinjin? Sinjin? Ian? What do you think Ian. about my head? It looks good, doesn't it? I think it looks good. It looks better than mine. Yeah, it does. And it looks better than <laughs> hers. <laughs> okay. I, it... I was setting you up to, for you to like give me like a cross compliment. I don't think you've got hair. He's have got, you? He's got face hair. That doesn't count as hair. What is hair? It's fine. It's fine. I was just fishing for a compliment and I didn't get it. It's okay. You're my favorite human being. There and we my go. My children I'll take are in that. the house. Yeah. You beat them. I'll take that. King Mike says <laughs> no, you've got a nice looks- head of skin. Oh. Thank you. I yeah, he's got a beautiful glow. <laughs> I feel like it's all I that need water. more glow. There's are no you sun still out. Away the sun on, that, is- on that barrel. What about the barrel? Are you still chugging away on that water barrel? Oh, yeah. I bought a I've massive one, and, but mine is but now gotta... taking up space. Yours is still being. You don't used. like the water from mine. Well, you don't ever wash it. It tastes like metal. Well, why would you wash it? You're putting water in it. That will keep it clean. Yeah, but your backwash you know, like, is going in there. Yeah, every I was about time. To your no, but then you, it pretty. tastes a little bit metallic. But that's got to be that's good. The so iron, isn't it? Iron. We need juice iron. Is from, juices from your gut is going back. Daily dose of iron. Why would you clean it? You're putting water in it from a tap. Yeah, but around the outside, it's gob, isn't it? You're drinking it. I do you think maybe Salt burn. wash it a little bit? Stop. <laughs> Man, there were so many times where I knew what was happening and I called it out because I was watching with like a group of people. I was like, this is this is what's happening, isn't it? And they were like, no. I was like, what's, no, that's definitely happening. About? Salt burn. I was like, okay. that dude's definitely like doing, when it, a, the, doing the a thing sa- in the tub. The, the sad, lonely time at the funeral at the grave at the end. When 100% he- called that. I called it as soon as I saw the shot. Uh, like okay, no spoilers, guys, because there'll be some sad cases that want to watch that crap. I didn't say anything. That just the way that the shot was set up, I knew what was happening, and I called it, and nobody believed me, and I just kept saying it until Apparently, it happened. That was not written down. He did that himself. He, that was his improv. Oh, Jesus, are you Christ. serious? I d- I did that as improv. Uh, uh, drama score got kicked out. <laughs> he does it. He gets an um, Oscar. And there was a bit where um, when the mum is ill and he starts to climb on top, he, she said at that point, that was also not written, and she was like, "Okay, well, let's see what he's happens a, here." He's a serial killer, then. That man is a serial killer IRL. Mm. He needs to be. Oh, I'm just smoking a rolly. Oh, let me look at your bum hole. <laughs> Does everybody just say that hole. when they're smoking rollies? <laughs> I'm just smoking a rolly. Just a lot of bum hole. A lot of jacksy talk. Jacksy talk. I want to, <laughs> so, to see your jacksy. Yeah. So that happened. Now I have movies to watch, which is exciting. I haven't had you do. movies to watch. You have several missions, and we would like your report in by Monday, please. I got you. <laughs> I'll send you a very detailed review because I got nothing to do this weekend. You're gonna scream. My birthday. My birthday is Sorry, this dude. month. Your birthday is this month. Mm-hmm. The iPhone I charger. Yeah. I don't. Uh, you, got, you do have one. I, I've used it before. Uh, 
hold the light. You talk to the. You talk. Singer's birthday this month. So I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that wow. my favourite song? Wow. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll wish him happy birthday if he makes it. <gasps> that, that feels sounds... like bad manifesting. That sounds like a threat, doesn't it? Do you feel threatened? No. What's he going to do? Find a, 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 we have guns in America. Charger. I'll be fine. For my favourite song. Kim, do you want anything? It's your favourite song, but apparently not your favourite human the being. Sushi. Can you tell Kim I said hi? I feel like I haven't seen Happy Kim birthday, in forever. Kim, my dear, dear friend. Hey, haven't my dear you seen friend. him forever? I haven't seen him or heard him or anything. Just tell him I said hi. Who? If the, he even remembers me. Who's that? Oh, the boy. Yeah, Kim. Kim? Sinjin says hi. Hello. He sounds like uh, he's older. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They've hit that age where every time every time I see them, they are about five years older, and their yeah. voices are a lot lot deeper. Kim's here, and he's nearly six feet tall now, right? Um... <laughs> if only there was like some way to turn on an actual light in that room, Ian, instead of it <laughs> looking like the Blair Witch Project. Oh, no. <laughs> but this is the natural light. Flashlight. This is this is, this is, the, this is what it's like. Yeah, Actually, it's not quite as dark as this. As it looks on the screen, but it's, it's pretty. It's like good. 920 over there, right? Yeah. Yeah, but it's the depth of winter, Sinjin. You don't understand. I'm no, going into work and I've been driving in. This morning I thought, oh, it's starting to become spring. Do you know uh, why? Because at seven o'clock there was okay. a smidgen, a smudge of light on the horizon. <laughs> do you guys do Groundhog's Day over there? No, guys... we haven't got Groundhog's here. What I mean, foolishness is this. We have Hedgehog's. You guys should do Hedgehog Day. <laughs> Hedgehog Day. <laughs> Just go and just pick it up and be like, do you see your shadow? Just talk to it right in its face. It's in I don't understand how it works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you just have to strangle it and shake it around a little bit to get the answer out of it. <laughs> to interrogate it. <laughs> I think they're still in hiding at the moment, the ground, at the uh, hedgehogs, and now I know why. It would be so cool to see Ian uh, interrogate a hedgehog to see if there's going to be six more months of winter or whatever it is. It could happen. That's so weird. I bought scotch eggs yesterday. Do you have scotch eggs in America? No. Are those the things with like the meat around like the egg? An actual these egg. These are yeah. tiny ones. But these are tiny ones. What? Are they like little? Eggs. Are those quail eggs? Kind of. They're not. Then? They're just mi- up. It's all mashed oh, okay. up. Okay. I was like, that's wild. Those look eggs. good. Those look really good. It's making me hungry a little bit now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's gonna be very farty in here later. So. That's fine. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, okay. I'm there you go. You got it, Sanjim? I'll you try it? my hands. Oh, you okay. You not kill the groove. <laughs> That's impressive. A little bit. Kind of. Not really. I feel like you could do more. It's like Chubby Bunny, but with uh, scotch eggs. How many can you get, you get in? I was doing an impression of you. That's rude. <laughs> you can do very tiny one. <laughs> oh, do you guys want to see Jax? Yay! Show us your Jaxie. I could get all of those in. But I don't want to waste them. Oh, look at that beautiful boy. Oh, look at Jack. And he's got his cousin. My brother moved in with me. Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> That's my brother's little, little pit bull. He oh, he's likes so to on my Look fingers. Him. What's his name? His name is Duke. Duke. We could, we'd say Duke. Duke here, wouldn't we? Duke. Not Duke. I got four of them. Duke. Duke. Got, the Duke. I got, got four of them. That's impressive. Mm. All right, now stop because you'll be sick. <laughs> four is impressive. Four should be a challenge. Whatever you said, I agree. Four should be a challenge. <laughs> not not a pleasure. <laughs> he needs something to wash it down with. Go get him some spitty water from that metal Some metal, metal metallic flavor. water. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, the way Ian eats, he wants a bell at the end of it and a free t-shirt and his picture on the wall. <laughs> He's speed running it. <laughs> be a pig, be a pig. Was that on Bill and Ted? Be a pig. Z- is Ziggy Wiggy, Wiggy Piggy. Wiggy. <laughs> Do you guys, did you guys ever have like a man versus food over there? We had that. No, but, but we did. Me and the boys used to love it. There were there were two presenters. The first one was called Adam, I think. He quit after one season. Then he was replaced by Alex. Or it may have been the other way around. But the second guy was shit. Because the first guy would do it. He got a challenge, he would do it. The second guy almost never passed. Oh, but what do you do? You have a nibble and go, 
that's enough for me, thank you. But he'd be in a restaurant, right? And the whole the whole rest of the restaurant would be going, we love you, <laughs> you can do it. And then kids would come up to him and go, we love you, Adam. Um, boys, well, can you just shout very loudly, what would they say to the, the guy on Man Vs. Food? <laughs> we love you, Adam. <laughs> Oh, it was, it was so good. But um, the food challenges here are a bit shit. Yeah. I I remember the last time I was here, you guys were talking about those, um, those uh, like, potato food trucks. And there's, like, a guy named, like, Captain Spud, like. Spud Man or whatever. Spud you I want to like. try that so bad. But every time that I see it, like, I want to eat the food, like, almost as soon as it's ready. And it seems like what they do is, like, they put cheese on top of the potatoes and, like, have to wait for the cheese to melt. Which no. I don't know if I'd they, have they, they they cook they have the potatoes cooked and then they will have them warm and then when you can I have can I have a you go go like this can I have a spud mister certainly governor what would you like on it <laughs> I'll have a bit of butter a bit of cheese and some beans not a problem then they get it out they cut it open they put the butter in what you mm. want you want it salted salt it and then they say there you go young sir that'll be a tanner here here we go uh, 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 Sinjin I've told this story on here before but you may not have heard it. My dad would have grown up in the late... We were born in 1950, I guess. So late 50s, he would have gone to school. This is how poor they were. His mum, my, my grandmother, Nanny Peg, would cook a jacket potato, right, in winter. He'd have it in his pockets to keep him warm throughout the day. Then at lunchtime, that would be his lunch. That's interesting. Victorian but, I mean, is what it that is. Was, that was back, yeah, that was a while back, though, so that makes sense. They didn't have like, I would do it with my kids today stuff. if I was allowed. You can't because of political correctness. Everything that's gone woke over here is gay this, trans that, wheelchair this. So you can't give a kid a jacket potato to keep him warm and then to eat for his lunch. Salad's not going to warm because, your cockles, is it? Because of bloody um, um, <laughs> Londonis, Londonis Khan. Khan because, of, because of Mayor Khan has changed everything. You can't even walk the streets with a jacket potato in your pocket to heat you up and then eat it for lunch. Do you know why? Because you'll get sent to prison for 20 years. Yet, they will let murderers, robbers, con men from all over the world come over here and get our social housing. How is that fair? It, How is it that fair? fair? It isn't fair, St. Jim. We have it a law against uh, having ice cream in your back pocket. You're not allowed to carry an ice cream in your back pocket, which also seems weird. And why just the back pocket? Because so you, I, could use it in the you get. Are you allowed to carry water in your front pocket, just straight like this? <laughs> I don't know if I could carry this in my front pocket. It would be a little <laughs> bit difficult. Maybe if you had like one of those tiny little baby ones. Is that a bottle of water in your pocket, or have you got a massive erection? <laughs> <laughs> That's sloshing. Massive. <laughs> That's sloshing. <laughs> You're, 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 seriously, man, you've got some kind of urinary infection. If that's your penis and I can hear it, you need to get – I know you guys don't have the NHS. You've got to get the money and get to a hospital and or get that lance. Or botched or pimple popper. She'll, put, uh, she'll spear that thing. Lance it. <laughs> she would. Speaking of sloshing, did you guys ever have uh, water beds over there? Yes. yes. Well, well we I don't know if we personally. did. They were like a staple of sitcoms in the 1970s. Yes. A sexy man would invite a lady back and they'd get seasick. That was the joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or it would pop sense. and they'd end up soaked. There's like one place that I see on TikTok that advertises still being a waterbed like mattress. It is called a mattress at that point. But they, they advertise as like we're like the last one in the country. And I've, I've only ever like been on There's one once. I've never owned one. But they seem like a cool like little thing to have in like a guest room just to like fuck with your guests. They come over and you're I like, oh, like sorry, this my is guests. the only <laughs> Call me old fashioned. Call me old fashioned, but I don't like to do that. <laughs> Plus, he'd never change the water, so it smell like metal. <laughs> water doesn't go off. I think it does. How, 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 oh, my God. <laughs> Are you serious? How old is water? How old is it? Yeah, but they have to keep... No, 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 no. Please answer the question. One question at a time. How old is water? Yeah, okay. But... Please, don't, don't, don't jump ahead. We can jump ahead in a minute. We'll do it in the order. It's ancient. How, but... how ancient? All right, yeah, okay, but... How old, how old is Sinjin? How old is water, mate? <laughs> at least two. <laughs> but listen, the water we drink has to be filtered, like, continually, because otherwise we'd be drinking pee. That's true. Wait... 
Why are you going from a tap to a pain? <laughs> That's where it goes. You haven't got to follow it. Hang on. Is there a child there? Hello? Oh. You haven't got to follow it. It goes off. <laughs> if you, you need to go in one of my kids' bedrooms and find all the old water receptacles and give those bad boys a sniff because that stuff is I'm disgusting. The, I'm not and talking not about got, cups. If it's not got a lid on it, it's like... Bleh. Cups go off. Water cannot go off. Why do we filter it then? Oh, Why that... do we have water purification? Right, go out Oh, and Jesus find Christ. Big farmer. Are you <laughs> idiots? That guy again. Not the big farmer. Right. So water filters came in when? 1985. For the... And Ro- Roger's right. I don't the, mean that. I mean like sewage The plants. 13.6 billion years before that, people, I'm not going to drink that. It's not, it's not gone. It's not been poured into a, a white lidded glass thing that sits in the fridge for a week. Are you so I can't that drink you it. You drink out of a pond if you were thirsty. Yeah. You just drink out of a pond without <laughs> filtering it. You're trying to catch me out now. That <laughs> pond water <laughs> isn't real water. What do you mean it's not real water? Pond water is not real water. What is that then? Dog, it's pond water. Soup. It's pond water. It right. You know when you turn on a tap, is that water or pond water? Well, I'm pretty sure some of the water, water comes. Excuse from me, pond. I'm talking to our American friend. It Sinjin. comes from ponds that gets filtered though. You Sinjin, answer the question. I just did. When you turn on a tap, what comes out? Pond water that was being Fa- filtered. He's not if he's not going to answer the question properly, I don't need to have this conversation. <laughs> this feels like I'm My fans know. US My fans know. My fans know. <laughs> don't ask me why I chose this nose. Linny knows this. King Mike knows it. Thalamus knows it. Um, I don't even know how many people Marcus are actually Marcus agreeing Tistic with you. is going to get timed out actually for trolling. We're not having any trolling tonight, mate. Sorry, mate. It's, it, we're just not having any trolling, buddy. We, the, the truth is, at some point, we've all probably drunk like Julius Caesar's urine. <clears throat> Why are you obsessed with drinking pee? Well, it goes through my everyone. children are in the house. The water table means it's the great circle of pee. Oh my God! <laughs> Listen to yourself. How? How can you have a table made out of water? Everything would fall through it. <laughs> if it's frozen, though. Good point. Yeah. Good point. He's got you there. Good point. But then ice isn't water. I feel like every. I feel like all water is connected is a dangerous line to tiptoe on because then it just feels like everybody's related, you know? That, There's a great the same. Mean, Kurt Vonnegut story. Kind of can't remember what it's called. It might be called Cat's Cradle. I can't remember. And he invents this, this, this weapon. It's called Ice Nine. And if if it touches any water, that water instantly freezes. Now, what happens the second someone someone puts that in in the in the river? What happens? The river freezes. Yep. Yeah, then what happens? The ocean freezes. The whole fucking water system freezes. Yeah. There's no there's no water because it's and all connected. You can the follow-up movie is snow. They pizza. die. Everyone dies. No water. You can scrape it. They, oh, uh, they die. Well, it's not like it's not like ice. It's like we probably like poison ice or something. All oh, right, Pi- you didn't pice. mention the poison nature of it. I don't really remember. I've not read it for a long time, but it's uh, it's good. Shut up, Roger. We're gonna. Roger says I fear we aren't getting an episode of El Dorado tonight. It's this guy. Oh, I'm not pointing the right way. Point. Make our fingers point. What's that music? This is like the Spider-Man um, meme. It's what's the, the music? Um, what's the... Didn't with the Leonardo da Vinci point. do something where... Yeah, that, you know? what's the music for that? There's music for that. Oh. Touch and tips? Can someone sing <laughs> the... <laughs> Good night, St. Jim. Good night. <laughs> Good night. You know that painting that... Goodbye. Um, that, Goodbye. Ooh, not even that. You know that painting that the, the, the shape of the, the cloaks around them is significant? One of them is a brain. Did you know that? I'm not even listening anymore because no one <gasps> has listened to me or treated me with uh, the respect. It's true, it's a true fact. I'm trying to get um, some. I'm trying to get some. I'm trying to get some education into that. This I deserve. Uh, we made twenty five quid for the man cave, yes. which is absolutely fantastic. I'll pass that. I don't know if any of you donated via the other link. Doesn't it's not a big. Not making a big deal out of it. But um, yeah, twenty five quid for the man cave. Well done, thank you guys. We're, we're, we're going to watch. Nice work, team. We still got to. If you want to give a bit more, the reason we're doing this. Friend of the show, member of the TLNA family, Coin Gary, his brother-in-law, took his own life last June. 
And so his sister is um, going to be raising some money for the Man Cave, which is a great charity that puts men in touch with other men and, and helps break the stigma of mental health and loneliness and depression and hopefully saves lives. Thalamus donated earlier. There's the Just Giving link if you want to go straight to that. And if you do, if you want to say, you know, TLNA family, that they would appreciate that. But there's the link if you want to. If you want to, um, you can do it this way. There's the other link. So the Just Giving will take you straight there. You can support, do the link that Richard's just put up there, all sorts of just put up there. It goes there, and I'll just forward it on um, over the weekend. So, um, thank you. Yeah, let's have a little, have a little look. Whoa, look, £430 of their £500 target. There we go, look, a few, oh, look, 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 look. A few of you have gone on there from here. That's thank beautiful. You that will mean the world. Thank you, thank you. Yasser's in the house. Sounds like a good cause. It is Yasser. How are you doing, my friend? How's um how's life? Have you we haven't been on Twitch much, so I don't know if you're streaming. I don't know if you're working. I don't know what's going on for you at the moment. We're gonna watch uh an episode um of El Dorado. We got about five minutes into one last week. Yeah. So we'll let's pick pursue up pursue that. Let's we'll we'll pursue that. Does anyone know what number we were on? Oh god. Roger's been complaining all night. So if he if he's not the one that comes up with the number, yeah. pot kettle. Black. I'm not seeing um, uh, my CBFL. My CBFL's not been in tonight. David Turner's. Is my CBFL? My CBFL. That, that tracks. <coughs> if anyone's seen my CBFL, can, can anyone just go and tweet at David Turner's? Ian's missing his CBFL. You'll know. You'll never know what it means. He'll know what it means. To be honest, now I know what it means, and I wish I didn't. Thalamu says, who, "Who donated? I don't know the folks involved, but I know how much pain they're in." Well, I'm sorry that you do know that. Um, sorry that you do know that, and thank you for being so generous. It's appreciated. DJ Blag says, "Computer body for life." Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's definitely it. <clears throat> C B F. Hey, Coin Gary's here. Coin Gary says, to everyone who donated here and on my sister's crowdfunding page, thank you, you really are angels. Gary, one of the family, brother. It was so lovely to see you last week at the Zoom meeting. I know we didn't, we didn't speak to each other, but it's lovely to see you. And, um, yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 someone's just donated money. Hang on, was that Thalamus that did that? Hang on a minute, I'm confused. Oh, that was Quiet Bloke. Okay, here we go. Well, that's beautiful. Quiet Bloke, thank you. So Thalamus has done it there. So we've got another 45 quid to put in the pot. Gary, I'll so do that. That's the target, isn't it? Um, is it the target actually? Is it? Let me have a. Uh, let me find the link. Let's see where we are. This could be. This could be an exciting moment in in life. Right. So so yeah. 40, 50, 60, Hang on. 40, 50, 60, 70, 70. So another twenty five pounds, and they've got their five hundred pound target. We you were Andy Roberts. Yes, you were Thalamus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah. Here we've had Robin, we've had Nelly, we've had Quiet Bloke, it's 45 quid. Gary, that'll get put in the pot. I'll do that Sunday or Monday. But that'll de definitely get done by end of play Monday. There's not a time limit on there, is there, that you've got? Um, oh, all right. Well, that'll definitely get done by end of play Monday, probably before. Um, and yeah, Gary, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, there's no words, is there? There's no words. There's no words. But, um, lots of love to you. Lots of love, definitely. <coughs> Um, DJ says, not, black. not wanting to make too light of it, but Coin Gary isn't allowed to balance this on the back. In fact, yeah, that's what he's got to do. To get it, pound coins and 50p's. <laughs> um, it's our pleasure to help, my friend. It's our pleasure to help. You've always been so generous to us. It's, you know, it's our pleasure to help. Right. El Dorado to the moon. You asked for it. Some of you asked for it. Uh, I don't think anyone asked for it. Oh, oh, Pajama Speed says, can I call? Uh, call? Let me just open up Skype again. Let me open up the Skype again, baby. You can call, definitely. Coin Gary says, thank you, Ian and Kath. What you did tonight means the world to me and it means the world to my sister. Please send on our love and our thoughts. Yasser says, not streamed on Twitch, but had a few little goes on Facebook Live. Still working on the podcast as well as enjoying gardening stuff. Good. Beautiful. Um, I'm on TikTok. Let's see if anyone's been offensive about me for the 20 minutes I've not been checking TikTok. <laughs> This is, is a blast from the past. Yes. Hello. Hey. You're not in the. You're not in an Egyptian toilet. 
Oh, no, I'm not. What's going on? How lovely to see you. Um, it's stuff, is, stuff has been happening big time um, this year. Um, it's 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 a, a crazy, crazy mess at the moment. Well, did you want to share as much or as little as you want? If you just want to come here to get away from the crazy mess, then you can come here and get away from the crazy mess. Um, uh, a, a different sort of crazy mess would be quite nice. Um, okay. But what hap- Well, basically, what's been happening? Um, came down to my mum's for Christmas, Boxing Day. Well, Christmas Day, I was coming down with something really bad. You know, when you're feeling fine and you're changing a light bulb and 45 minutes later you're like oh, I've got to go to bed yeah. mm-hmm. you're that ill so I, my mum was also ill I was ill Christmas day my brother came round he had to cook Christmas dinner all on his own we were both too sick to eat it went to bed four o'clock in the morning my brother's banging on my bedroom door saying mum's on the bathroom floor and I can't get her up I need oh. you to help me uh, at which point I sort of held myself out of bed um, and we had to call an ambulance for my mum, which was, they said, oh, it'll be seven hours. Can you get, can you get her there yourself? And we're mm. like, shit. Um, so we did. Um, the upshot being my mum has just got out of hospital, having been in for a month. Oh, God. Um, all through New Year, the junior doctor's strike. Um, and everything, and she's just got out, and I have sort of been hurled now into a world of being a carer um, and not knowing what the what the hell I'm doing, really. Um, so happy New Year! Oh my God, I'm so <clears throat> sorry. How her? How? Uh, well, some of these questions may not make sense. How is she? Um. She is getting a little bit better every day. Um, she's she's able to move around a bit on a frame. Um, they basically found that she had a raging infection, which they couldn't find the source of. Mm. Undiagnosed diabetes, which <gasps> we suspect, look in hindsight, I think must have been going on for at least six months, possibly longer. Yeah. Um, she caught three chest infections while she was in hospital. Um, it was so bad in the hospital, so bad. Um, I, I really thought she was going to die. Really thought she was going to die. We got to a week where she just started vomiting and could not stop for about ten days. Oh my god! Um, to the point where she she basically gave up. And I mean, eating was out of the question, but she started refusing water. Um, and I had to sort of play the bad cop and be like. We're going to have to get you a psychiatric assessment because it's it's kind of okay. You can say I'm going to give up, but it's not going to be like a, a nice drifting off. It's going to be really painful waiting for your body to shut down. If this is the route you decide to go on, and if you decide to go on that route, you, there might not be any change in your mind because you're that weak. I mean, she couldn't get out of bed. She couldn't stand. Um, so she is home now. <clears throat> Getting, getting a bit stronger every day, although quite depressed because she feels like life is not going to be the same as it was. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I've just had this incredibly traumatic month where we're ba- basically the hospital was so bad that me and my brother um, didn't feel that she was safe in there on her own. So we were basically there from eight in the morning till they threw us out at nine o'clock at night. Unsafe in what way do you mean? With the level of care. Right, right. Um, they're so they're that stretch. They just weren't giving her the attention that she required. Yeah, I mean in that state. Here's, here's, here's a tray of food. Oh, you're not been able to eat it, right, we'll just take it away again. There's you know, and no help with toileting or anything at all. Um, and a few a few members of staff who were some were fantastic. I don't want to tie everyone with the same brush, but there were a few who really did genuinely seem malicious to some of the patients on my mum's ward, which they put her in a frailty unit, so she was with a lot of dementia patients. Um, and it was really, really frightening. Oh, it sounds absolutely horrendous. I'm so sorry. Um, 
yeah, so we've gone from that and basically just getting through the entire month on pure adrenaline to now, oh, she's home. And I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm assuming you're getting no support from well, this, well, the we, services. We weren't getting anything because it took them three days to discharge her because they kept ballsing it up, basically. Mm. Um, so she was sitting, <clears throat> sort of just sitting up in bed, just waiting for them to let her go and being then being devastated at the end of the day because someone hadn't signed a piece of paper oh, or Jesus. this person was supposed to come and see her. So this went on for three days. Yeah. We got to the point where we were actually thinking, like, we're going to just bust you out today, basically, because medically you've been, they've okayed you to go. Um, and they, and people started phoning the house saying, oh, we're from the occupational therapy team. We're from physiotherapy. We're from blah, blah, blah. Can, you know, we want to come see your mum today. It's like, well, she's not here. She's still in the hospital, uh, which pushed it all back to Friday. And they said, oh, well, well, we won't be coming on the weekend. So... We, we can maybe come on Monday. It's like, well, great. She got out nine o'clock on Friday night. With me and my brother going, Christ, are we, like, what are we going to do? Are we going to, where's she going to sleep? Can, can we, but we, can we build her a bed on the bloody sofa? Do we try and get her up the stairs? What? what? So, um, yeah, we're just sort of trying to cope with that now. Can I ask, it's like, how are you you saying you were ill over Christmas? Yeah. Are you better now? Where are you oh, in terms of your health? I, I thought I had the, either the flu or COVID coming. And I don't know what happened. I think it was just a shot of pure adrenaline. But once she was in hospital, I was like, I haven't got time to be ill now. Right. OK. Yeah. Um, yeah. Got other things to do. So um, it kind of miraculously went away. But I kind of suspect that give it a couple of weeks. If things continue to improve, then I'll just crash completely. Um, oh, mate, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's, it sounds horrendous. And there are a few people in the chat who have, Nina and Visionary, share similar experiences. Uh, I, I, I have some similarities in my story, but, you know, what you're going through is, is horrendous. It's shit. It's so shit, and I'm so sorry this is going on. I, I can completely sympathise with the hospital thing. When my dad was in before Christmas, it was just the not knowing what they were doing, and one person would give you a little glimmer of hope and say that they're going to discharge him, and then you wouldn't hear anything all day, and you, you get to a certain time of night and thought, well, it's not happening today then, is it? No, that's it. I'd wish they'd never told her, we're looking. To, we're going to discharge you today. Yeah. Because then she's got to deal with getting over, getting over the disappointment because she was... You know, by that point, she's slightly more compost mentis and, she, and um, she knows what's going on. And now she's aware of just how terrible the care is because she can see it. But it's stuff like, you know, you suddenly realise that there's a pocket at the end of her bed and there's all these empty vials and uh, sort of doctor's orders for test blood tests to be taken. And they're four days old. No one's done them. The food thing's a really common thing. Oh, you've not eaten? Okay, well, you can't be hungry. No communication with the patient. Maybe the patient can't communicate. Maybe they need feeding. Maybe they need soft food. And so, oh, you've not eaten? You're not hungry. <laughs> then the next meal's at five o'clock, and no one could well, know for days. And you remember in our case, we actually ended up taking food in, and then they would swoop and say, he can't have that. Yeah. He's not allowed to eat that. And it's like, what? Well... Yeah, I mean, it got to the point where when my mum was able to eat a little bit, and she had no appetite because she'd been had such terrible sickness for about 10 days. I was actually feeding two of the other patients in the ward. Yeah. Which, I mean, I don't, I can see they're really stretched. I don't mind doing it. But? But what if you weren't there? Exactly. And, you know, they, these are two patients who don't have family, very elderly patients who don't have family coming in. I can get, I can, I can get a yogurt and some jelly down Shirley, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And she'll do it quite willingly if all I've got to do is really sit there, but yeah, it's it was horrific, really horrific, frighteningly so. I mean, I knew things were going to be bad, but I, I had no idea they were going to be that bad. It's pretty amazing, isn't it, when you see it up close, what a shit show it is. Yeah. And I've seen that kind of... I think most people that work in hospitals are great. You know, the best time I've... I've the, most caring I've seen is from porters. Some of those porters are amazing. Yeah. The porters are incredible. But but yeah, I I do think there is that there, there are some people who are shouldn't be in a caring profession. There are some people that have been stretched to the limit, and there are some people that are arseholes in there that really do not have the best. I, I think some some it's a small number, but kind of get off on the power. 
There's a, a little bit. I also felt that there was some resentment there as well. Okay, I get it. Probably there's awful... It, the, the shit show goes further up and they're under terrible pressure from the higher-ups who aren't helping them out either. But, yeah, I get it. I think some of it gets taken out sometimes on patients. Yeah, there was one it. particular incident. You remember that night we had that terrible storm? Mm. Um, a care assistant... Walked, my mum was in the bed nearest the window, walked in, opened all the windows as wide as they would go and went, mm, a bit stuffy in here, isn't it? And then walked off, came back two hours later, and my mum was soaked through because the rain was coming horizontally through the window. Oh, that's, ju that's, cr that's just cruel. Yeah, I, um, when we found out, we went absolutely ballistic when we got into the hospital the next morning. Absolutely ballistic. What do you need? Maybe you don't know yet. I've no idea. Yeah. Like, an extra five hours in the day. I mean, I was just thinking today, like, when did I actually last have a shower? I think it was, like, Tuesday. Hair, mm -hmm. hair washing, we brought, I don't even know. But um, you spend so long sorting everything out and waiting for someone to get back to you. And then, oh, God, the plumber's supposed to come as well about the bath. And and, uh, and then before you know it, it's, like, 9 o'clock at night and that's it. You're out like a light. It's... Yeah. And have the council or the social services talked about bringing in carers on a regular basis? We've, it's been we've, so long since I've had to do I've last God, 2008, mum moved into a care home. So it's, it's so long since I've had to deal with carers going in and out of a house. Yeah. Um, well, we actually got incredibly lucky because having said, oh, well, someone might come round on the Sunday or on the Monday, having been discharged on the Monday. One of the people on the list to come and see her was a district nurse on the Monday because they're supposed to keep an eye on her diabetes that she's mm. or that we're managing. Um, and by a sheer stroke of luck, my mum actually knows one of the district nurses who saw her name on the list and went, I know that name. I'm going to come like after I've done my emergency Sunday calls, I'll do it today. And she came round and, um, and immediately looked at one look at my mum because she knows her, she can see just how bad she is compared to before and um, immediately said this is a failed discharge I'm calling the hospital at home team and within an hour and a half we had a GP and a physiotherapist in my mum's bedroom um, who, and we now have one point of contact for everything we just phone them we don't have to work out you know do we phone the GP for this do we phone the district nurse do I phone the fit you know because I don't know I've no, never of course done not. I've no one not a clue um so at the moment we've we've got that, and well, she's getting uh, care once a day to sort of help her wash, and check for pressure sores and things all things like this. Um, but yeah, it does feel very much. Although somehow we've ended up with three Zimmer frames, and I don't know how this has happened. Does that... Oh, you you collect That's the a weird lot of thing, and then they don't seem bothered about them. Do well, they, they don't. You can't re, you can't return them. It, oh it, God, no! I'm stuck with no, them. you can't. You're they you 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 you'll end up. I've had this with so many things. You'll end up phoning up. Is occupational health coming? What is? Uh, well, I've got these. Oh, yeah, oh yes. Well, if you can dispose of them, no, they can't take that stuff back for some reason. It's 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 a totally effed up. I think I'm system. just so um, I'm just so sort of flattened by the whole situation that every time someone turns up and goes, oh, we bought you Zim you bought we bought you that Zimmer frame we promised. I'm like, oh great, and then I turn around and put it down, and it's like there's already about three. You're of gonna them have them stacked up like you're outside Tesco's. Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, um this is life at the moment. Um and I've also got to really think about work because I've not been able to work since before Christmas. Yeah. And the money's you know what am I gonna do? Like the money's running out so um and it's been and it's really expensive like having to like like Uber yourself back from the hospital at God knows what hour and living on takeaways and stuff if you're bothering to eat at all. So I've got to do something about that as well. So it's um if I'm not stressing about one thing, I seem to be stressing about another, which is not necessarily terribly helpful, but you think you've got problems. Patty has just done a shit in the kitchen. Oh my god, it was a while ago and I <laughs> And the last ten minutes <laughs> try not to <laughs> We've been breathing it in, as Catherine was saying, the line is shite. Um, We've been chewing on it. It's thick. Yeah. We've both been very polite and very mature. I'm very sorry for your for your tragedy. <laughs> for your, for your, your <laughs> loss. Man, this lady is responsible. Ah, um, <laughs> oh man. I, I don't know. It's just awful. It's just awful. And it must feel incredibly lonely. Um at the moment yeah. it must feel incredibly lonely i'm so sorry you're going through it 
I mean, what you you get on with it as best you can because you don't. I don't have a choice. So mm-hmm. that's it. That's it. That is that is the state of affairs <sighs> at the moment. Well, it sounds trite, but you know she's lucky to have you. She's lucky to have you. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what she, if she didn't have family. I, I don't know. What. Well, if she didn't have family, then she would get carers going in. You know, once she'd got into the system, that's the thing yeah. we found is because because there is family, it's less urgent for social services to intervene. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, the, when the district nurse came round and said, "I'm getting the." an urgent home help people to come um she she turned her and i was standing there like in my pajamas because it was about nine o'clock in the morning and i'd been up half the night with my mum and then she turned around and looked at me and said if you can if you can still look like that when they turn up that would be really helpful you've got to play the game it's awful jesus thanks you know it's like a miracle i'm standing yet alone dragging a comb through my hair or anything Um, there's not a lot we can do. However, if uh, this this may seem trite, but we, we we have a couple of friends who we send out the Patreon links to because they've been helpful to us or for whatever. If you want to, you know, come and join us for free every Friday, it's a, such a small thing compared to what you've got going on. But we'd be very happy to send you the link for the YouTube if you just wanted to come and sit with us for half an hour, bit a bit of a distraction, few hours, watch some Hell Dorado as you rudely called it. Um, <laughs> You know, if, if you want to get part, there's, there's, we've got about five or six people who we send the links out to because for whatever reason. If you want to get put on that list, send me an email with your email and I'll add you. And if you're free on a Friday, you're very welcome to come and watch us twat about. Actually, yeah, that might be really nice because um, also while I'm here, I've got no one else around because I don't know. Yeah. I've got no friends around here or anything. So it's like. Sarah, send me an email. I've probably got your email address somewhere, but send me an yeah. email. And and I'll copy your email address and I I, I tend to send it out like I, well I, I send out an email earlier on in the early on the week with all the links and stuff so I will add you to that list of excellent people you'd be very very <laughs> welcome I know it's only small but you're right if you can come and you know take the piss out of Catherine for a bit laugh at her um, laugh good? at how she she doesn't know about water <laughs> it's a small thing but you'd be very very welcome to come and join us for a bit. That would be really nice. Thank you. All right. All right. I'll enjoy your El, El Dorado. I will. Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's less it's less enjoy and more endure, isn't it? But Well, I don't know. It's, it's to hate it. And Visionaries put the Discord chat in the uh, link in the chat. There's a, there's, there's a really nice little community of supportive people there, and you'd be very welcome if you just want to vent. There's people vent. They share stuff. They talk. Whatever. Yeah. You know. I was in there, and then I kind of fell off it because... I don't, cause like, yeah, I know. Social media and all that shit, you haven't really got time to worry about that. Send me your email and I will put you on the list. And if you join us on a Friday, that's great. And if you don't, that's great. It's entirely up to you. No pressure. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank you for letting me around. Absolutely. You know, well, I was not say pleasure. That doesn't sound quite right, does it? But you're very, very welcome. And lots of love to mum. I hope things improve soon. Thank you very much. Take See you care. later on. Take, Take care. care. Bye-bye. Bye. That really is a smelly shit she's done. It was awful, and it seemed to get more and more strong. And I was ah, thinking, man. You know, what we're going through is obviously nothing compared to her, but it, it, was, close. it was it was headache-inducing. Isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, you know... It's, it's, uh, That's the sort of stuff that can happen in a, in a flash, and your life changes, and no vision, uh, visionary was... And uh, Nina, and, and, and Nina yeah, you know, it. it's... Um, well, it was lovely to see you. Yeah. It was very, very lovely to see you. Let's watch a little bit of Hell Dorado. Yeah, she rudely called it that. Look at those babies. They were babies. Um, let's watch a little bit. Honestly, that. Go and clean it up. I don't think I can without making... The other day... I think we're on 20. I walked in some cat sick here and... Uh, very bravely cleaned it up, even though it's not my cat and therefore not my problem. And he was telling me off for going... Hur! Are oh, you were piss, really pissing me off? It was <laughs> real. It <laughs> was real. There was a lot everywhere. I was annoyed because it was it was early and I had to get out, and you'd come round for whatever reason. It's like please, and then you trod in, in cat sick. I'm like, come you, on. You'd think I'd be upset, but if no, it, apparently it was Ian. Ian's you shouldn't time. be coming round first thing in the morning. <laughs> you should be. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was disgusting, and I could feel it through the paper. That's what was making me. <laughs> properly heave and he thought I was doing it for effect I went it's real I am really disgusted by this and yeah I was still cleaning it up 
Did I get any thanks? No, I didn't. I got told off. What a disgusting human being. If I were you, I'd get off to work because I tell you, we're going to need the money. He's got... This Gavin. is how... We're seeing how they deal with mental health issues. In when was this, 1993, yeah, something like they that? They get up and Shall I get a doctor or something? No. Oh, Freddie's lying on the sofa somewhere across the estate, isn't he? Hello. Hello. Boys, have you seen Blair? No, sorry. Hello, boys, have you seen Blair? No, no sorry. sorry. Look at that, look at these pricks. Oh, I've buggered it, you can't move it. Hello, boys, have you seen Blair? No, Hello. sorry. Hello, boys, have you seen Blair? No, sorry. Freddie. No, sorry. I knew he'd do that, that walk out, walk in again. It, it, this bloke thinks he's um, bloody... Um, Go on. Oh, my finger, my, finger, my lace is stuck somewhere. Charlie Chaplin, isn't it? Right, we've got Batman the movie. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on! Oh, fuck. Oh, God, stop. Yes, well, they won't be declining when I'm present. Oh, we just have to watch it again. Hello, boys. Easy and Blair. No, no sorry. sorry. Here comes yeah. Charlie Chaplin. Whoop, yep, yep, yep. Oh. Batman. Batman the movie! <laughs> yeah, that'll do. But what about the tape? You might as well be living in camp for Miss King. Whoa, oh, the oh, way standards I are think that's Kate Bush. Yeah, best. Best of. And uh -huh. that next to it might be Michael Jackson Thriller. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're good. Yeah. Okay. Well, yes, well, they won't be declining when I'm president of the Residents Association. She's, oh, you know what this is? This is uh, the forerunner of Trump. She's Trump, isn't she? Yeah. Mr. Tandy, I can assure you of that. You missed a bit. She's picking up litter in the TV store. Why is there litter indoors? Why is the why is the is the is, I think I think the shop is thorn. By the way, look at that. I think the shop is thorn. And why are they not cleaning up? Also, what are they doing? Is it it's a it's plain paper? Oh. <gasps> Swastika would look good there, wouldn't it? And would be accurate. <laughs> it would. Who does she look like there? Um, Noel Edmonds. Yeah, she does. That's it. Yeah. Joy. Hello, Gwen. Before you. Hello, Gwen. Hello, Gwen. Joy. Hello, Hello Gwen. Gwen. Do you even say anything? The answer is still no. What? He's barred. He remains. I'm not letting you have a look out. He's barred. Let no, me in. Sorry. Of the ice cream. The ice cream. Too far. Okay, all right. I'm Too just, far. All right, I'm just saying. This is about a different troublemaker. Blair's still missing. Visionary liked it. Visionary's done three crying, laughing emojis. Visionary liked it. It came out of nowhere, didn't it? She lolled. I think... L l There's a lot of straight lines in that sentence. <laughs> what? He hasn't been home all night, and I just thought you might have seen him. No, like I said, not since the weekend. No. What, have you told like the police? What have they said? No. About a 16-year-old boy has had a bust-up with his parents. Well, they didn't exactly offer to call in Interpol. Gwen. Mm. Maybe I've reconsidered. <laughs> Look, I know it's easy for me to say, but I really believe that Blur's going to be OK, you know? She said Blur. Of course she did. She just looks like this. Yes, but I, you hear such dreadful stories. It's trouble that kids can get into these days. Yeah, I know, but Blair's a good lad at heart. Believe me, in my game, you learn to recognise the real bad ones. <laughs> in her game, you get to recognise the really bad ones. What game is that? The daughter of a carpet salesman. Who works in an old man's pub. Joy, about Drew. You, I know, I, I know and I can understand how you feel. But our son might be dead. Could you let him come in and get drunk in your pub again? And I know he doesn't really deserve it. And can you let him berate your... P the rest of your punters. Third chance. Third chance, actually. Don't be too hard on him, Joy. Don't be too hard on him! He had to be wheeled home by his daughter. He's really going through a bad patch at the moment with all this worry about Blair. Now, I know it's no excuse, but it really is. We're only on episode 20. Does, there are times I think, I don't know if I can do it. I miss, do you know what I miss? 
the rain Story restaurant. Lines. I missed the rain restaurant. Oh god, yeah. I miss I'm wondering what happened to the rain restaurant. Did it yeah. survive? I, I I miss wondering whether that young lady got her boobs done. Not sure what Gatford's Gatford's trying to do a joke, and I think he's ballsed it up. CBFL. Me too, Paul. Me too. Driving him crazy. And let's give us some earrings too. <laughs> Snowy? Flipping heck, I never would have thought it was him. Gary, try again. What ends first? First of all, he's gone T-N-I-A. Then he's gone, what ends first? T-N-L-A or L-D... Go on, try oh. again, mate. Make her look like Gypsy Rose Shatford. Lee. She looks more like Nelly the Elephant in drag. Oh, what about some little glasses? I wonder too? if she'll yeah. turn up behind Give her a touch of the Bessie Bonders. She's behind Snowy. you, isn't she? <laughs> yes, she did. Yeah. yeah. I'm not too sure about that beard. Perhaps just a small pencil moustache. That man is in his 60s. <laughs> he is, though, isn't he? <laughs> no. That's a real Picasso I've ever saw one. <laughs> what do you think? Oopa. So let me get this right. You can only see people when you're... So I, I, I can't see you. I can't see you. I can't... Oh, my God! Now, Mr. White. What's in the box? It could be a long time. What? With your business. Look, here's what we're going to do next week. I've had an idea. Okay. You, I, um, what do they call it? Um, foreshadowing. Okay. Right. We're going to do some foreshadowing next week. Do you know what we're going to watch next week? The last ever episode of El Dorado. So we know where we're heading. No. Sorry? I don't think that's a very good idea at all. I think that's an excellent idea. That's a massive crap hole. No, hang on. I that, remember what happens in the last episode of Eldorado. The car blows up. Yeah. But we know, we know where we're heading. And we, hang on a minute. Right. They all think it's a terrible idea. No, too. The, no, they don't. Gatford does. You can't even get the letters T L N A in the right order. He's only been bumming us for fifteen years. <laughs> he must be tired. We are. Hurry up! Hurry up and get it. Get done. Please. <laughs> or at least face me towards the telly. <laughs> right. Nina says, like reading the last page of a book first. No. Yeah. No, thank you. Terrible idea. Can we vote for it? No, yes, we can. You can't be trusted I don't with vote. remember how to do a vote. How do we do a vote? Oh, we've got four unbanned requests. Oh, no. There we go. Let's have a little look at this. Hang on. It's been so pleasant tonight. Mod for you. There we go. Let's have a little look at this. What? Sorry? It's been so pleasant what? tonight. What? Hello? There we go. Let's have a little He's look. trying to do what? a tutorial. We haven't got time for that. I've just closed the dockable window. Now I can't see the chat. I'm a fit. I'm a fit. fit. fit, fit. can't. Come on. No more side quests. No. I tell you what. Why don't we? Oh God! Why don't I tell you what we're going to do? Right? Is we're just going to have a little bit of fun? We have a little poll because I th I got a feeling you could be wrong on this. I think people. I people, think we've come too far to be jumping ahead now. People we've come too just far people to be jumping ahead now. People we've come too just. Far. And down. Right. Let me try and remember how you do this. Ian Lee fan says no because last time we voted we lost Paddington yeah, Green. And then you got in a mood about it, which you're still in. I am still in. I, I think it was a terrible decision, and it turned out everyone had been lying to us. It's like Brexit. Everyone Don't had been lied to us. Don't give him the vote. I'm you saying I'm David Cameron. Yeah. Right. St stream manager. Where do I go to do votes? It's all changed. Oh God. Quick actions. Click that. Raid. There. This is vote, isn't it? Well, let me go through this stream together. Manage poll. Create yes, a Catherine, new poll. You're correct. Shall I apologize we watch not paying the attention. last episode of El Dorado, El Dorado next week? Yes, no. Start poll. Don't let me down. Okay. The poll has been started, guys. Let's get voting. Let's get voting. 
Shall we watch the last episode? Let's get to see the votes. 60-40. 60-40. 60 yes. 67% yes. 33%. They're just trying to they're just trying to hasten the end. 71 56% yes, 44%. 60%. Is it yes or yes? Sorry? It says yes or yes. How did that happen? Oh, God. Oh, that's terrible, guys. I'm so sorry. Unfortunately, it is legally binding. Again, this shit. Again. <laughs> I'll do a proper poll. It's 50-50. That means yes. I'll do a proper poll. I drew a proper poll. I drew a proper poll. We'll delete that poll. We'll do a proper poll. New poll. Not at all. <laughs> Should we watch the last episode of El Dorado next week? Okay, let's see what the what the options are now. Yes. New. There we go. Happy? Do a pop pop. I'm not happy, but I'm less unhappy. <laughs> right. Chalfont says, here we go. I knew he would turn. Watch the last one. It's dragging on. Because for the last three months, he's been watch the do watch the documentary. Watch the documentary. Watch the documentary. I'm bored now. Chalfont's I think Chalfont is not an, a, a, a reliable witness. He seems flighty to me. You lot are absolute dickheads. It means we just so. like doing things properly, don't 50, we? 50 50 means no substantial majority, so we stick with what we got. Okay, so it's, if it's not 50 50, it means some. Whatever the vote is, it's yes, right? Is that what you're saying? Get, get out of here. Did you just kiss your teeth? Gary says, I knew what I was voting for watching the last episode, then never watching any ever again. Yes means yes. Well, no, what we would do is then go back to. Would then go back to where we are in the thing. It's just so we know what the finish line looks. Like. You know what? You know the end of the London Marathon, right? You know what it looks like. No, never watched that. Twat. Crap. I know what the beginning looks like just as I go. Oh, really? How do I vote? Zap. I vote. Oh, my vote's in. Yeah, it's not going to sway things, is it? Richard is a loyal soldier. Richard says, I'm happy to see the end and then go back. Richard, I promote you to Captain. Captain Rollsaltz, you've been promoted. You've been promoted. You should be stand proud, soldier. Stand proud. Who else would like to be promoted in the military? Vote yes and show me you voted yes and you'll it's be bribery. promoted. You're not allowed to bribe. It's not bribery. Honours, it's reward. Honours for votes. It's a reward. If we don't see it next week, we never get to see it. Yes, Paul loves retro. Well done. You're, you're a sergeant now. Putin uh, Lee has voted. Where's my Putin? <laughs> Did that on BBC Three Counties Radio for about 20 minutes. <laughs> where's my Putin? We BBC did, Local Radio. We, oh, we, we, we did live the dream for a while. Do you know what? I'm going to cancel this vote because I'm just not... Because it's not looking good No, no, you. no. No, I don't actually think... I don't need to listen to these saps to know what to do. Can you press play, please, so we can at least see? I'll be as long as it takes, OK? I don't understand. I don't understand either, Pilar. I mean, come on. What are you doing down here? Why are these questions? I just want to know when you go home. I'm not... I'm not spying, Marcos. Good. Look, I promise to take you out tonight, OK? I'm going to lean in uncomfortably close. Something to look forward to. You're sulking Here's what now. we're going to do. Sulking. No, I'm not sulking. I'm, I'm contemplating how I ended up in this absolute shit position in my life at the age of 50. Here's what we're going to do. <clears throat> we're going to vote again next week. No. Yes, we are. When you've had time to think about what a great idea it is that we watch the last episode, oh. then we jump back and watch this. Drink. I was thinking, perhaps I get with you. It's a very noisy car seat, isn't it? It's very squeaky. <laughs> Do you hear that? Did he just let one rip? Yeah. When she says, I'm thinking I could come with you. Well. <laughs> he let four 
to do it as well. I was thinking I could come with you. <laughs> I promise to take you out tonight, OK? That'll give you something to look forward to. I was thinking perhaps I'd come with you. Oh, Marcus! <laughs> I think he cocked a leg. But I don't know what to do. I'm alone all day, Marcus. Go and enjoy yourself. Take it. Take it! Catherine, take it. All right. Oh. Actually, can, that's my, can I have that pen back? Yes. It's got a noodly ladle on it. Noodly ladle on it. Oh, what now? Noodly ladle. What? Speaking of noodly ladies. <laughs> Oh, look, he's, he, Dickhead's going to be upset because the lads are eyeing her up. Well, the lads are looking at her. He's watching me. <laughs> that paper is supposed to be his <laughs> penis. What's up with him? I'm not doing anything wrong, am I? Not that I can see. I'm clearing the table. They're yeah, doing that. Oh, oh, oh. I'm doing the washing up. I'm being nice to the customers. He's doing it again. He's he was always going to do it. We're just making sure you're OK. He's driving me mad. It shows he cares. It shows he's got water on the brain because if he's protected. Right, here's what we're going to do. So we made £45 tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. I'm going to go and send that to the Just Giving page now. So I'm going to transfer that over there. Uh, continue. So that £45 that uh, we're going to put T-L-N-A. From the TLNA family. Lots of love. And I know some of you have donated directly. Well done, you. Um, let me go. Oh. Let me do it that way. Uh, no, I won't because I haven't got my thing. Let's do it. Let's do it this way. Uh, I'm not giving any money to just giving. Oh, look, I oh, know. How do we get rid of that? Enter customer. I don't give any money to just giving, dear God. It's like when you go to McDonald's. Would you like to give 46p to children? Why no, you, 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 can. you do it. Tesco's You've got more money than me. Tesco's as well. Tesco. You, you, you've got more money than me. I tell you what, every time someone does a shop, you give 46p to children. I can't afford... I, We're paying five pound... Oh! We're paying five pound for butter. I made the mistake of doing a shopping Tesco. Just a bag. Just a bag. 45 pounds. I went to Aldi yesterday. Three bags and two bags of cat litter. 65 pounds. It is nuts. Yep. It is nuts. There we go. He's sitting next to me and glaring at the snake. There we go. Completing your donation. Completing your donation. Completing your donation. There we go. That's in. Let's see where that takes there. Let's see where that takes there. It might not show for a bit, actually. It takes a while, doesn't it? Yeah. I gave some money from us earlier in the week. So um, I just post the link one more time. If anyone wants to, to go and top it, if you're, so if you're, for 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, so they're 25 pounds off, 500 quid. There's the link if you want to go and have a little look. Thank you, everyone. And it was, so it's not, you know, but thank you, thank you, thank you. It means a lot. Right. I should have realised I don't need protecting. 12 months on the street doesn't exactly leave you wide-eyed and innocent, you know. It's only 12 months! On the street, though. It's only 12 months! On the street. Yeah. So how long you were out there? Well, on the streets. Twelve months. Or well, something like that. I thought it was longer. You lose track. <clears throat> and didn't your parents try and find you? All that time on my parents, I think they would have... I never knew my parents. Oh, I... Roger um, says, once they put up prices, if you didn't have a club card, I decided Tesco can fuck right off. Thank you very much. Uh, Roger. Oh, yeah, if, you, if, you, if you're shopping in Tesco, and sometimes they do because it's for the convenience, got to have that club card. Because you could save, like, on this 46 quid, whatever it was, I saved four quid yeah. with the club card. Not to be sniffed at, that. When I was a baby. Sorry, what did she say about... She I never knew her parents. Couldn't care less. What's that bloke got? Oh, it's the paper. It was his paper penis. Hello? Gavin? This should carry a government health warning. 
looks quite well considering he's been in bed for four days. Nice photograph of, I'm guessing, his cousins or his sisters <laughs> cleaning a car <laughs> indoors. Looking at this can seriously damage your breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> we, we lay into Drew, but sometimes he's absolutely bob on. Seriously, what was it? Seriously, damage, damage your, your breakfast. breakfast yeah. Damage your breakfast. That doesn't quite make sense. No. Doesn't make any sense. It can damage your breakfast. Um, I came around to see if Gwen can still count in your vote tomorrow. Make sure you haven't changed your mind, like. Mm. Well, right. Let's just remind ourselves. He's sad because his mum's gone home. Isn't that what's happened? His, mom, uh, his dad died. Yeah, but his dad died ages ago. But it's sad because his mum went home. Imagine if she I... She wasn't bothered. She went back to Brenda. Imagine if I employed this technique with my clients. You just, you're just sad because your mum died. Mom Was it, didn't it's die. Just, she just didn't want to live there. You just, you're just sad because your dad died and your mum went home. His mum wants to live. She wants to live with Auntie Brenda. Cheer up. By the way, before, before you pay me, can I count on your vote? <laughs> oh, uh, you haven't seen Blair, have you? It's been... Car wash. She's got foam on her. Uh, Car wash. On her There's body. three of them. Two on this side, and she might be in the car. I can't quite work it out. Or she stood at? in the bucket. Yeah, what they're looking at. What's in the bucket? Car wash. Car wash. Yeah. <laughs> Doing his impersonation of the Invisible Man. I haven't seen him since yesterday. He's driving his mother around the bend. No. Fine. Was not where, expecting that. Where's that sponge stuck to? <laughs> is someone holding it or is it attached? I was not expecting that. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I mean, it was the 90s, so Actually, things are a bit hairier. It's quite a handy attachment for washing the car. So why should I wash? I've got a glove with a scraper on it. They're using the yellow filter they use in Netflix. Sorry. I mean, it's not as if he's my dad or anything. Why should I bother about him? Oh. Hey. Hey, oh, what's this? Oh, oh it's just... <laughs> Dallin Moose said buff with him off. Thank an you idea. very much. So that's the dragons. About Freddy. Oh, yeah. About this bloke, you're not going to worry about anymore. All right, all right. I just thought it might help if we could replace some of the stuff that got nicked. I think that's a great idea. Hello. What about you, Miss King? I beg your pardon? We're making a collection for Freddy. Replace some of the stuff that he lost. Oh, him. Oh, him. Is she going to get homophobic? <coughs> yeah, she doesn't buy hmm. Judy Garland. Well, I did say that I was very upset about that at the time. I told him so. Well, cough up, then. But, you know, some people do tend to bring trouble on themselves. What? Well, the company he keeps. It. Here we go. We haven't had this for a while. The lifestyle he leads. The lifestyle he leads? Fred, he's not a Martian, you know. He's a human being. He's got feelings like the rest of us. Not to mention a vote at tomorrow night's residence meeting. And while we know you don't approve of Freddie's lifestyle... Well, indeed, I don't, Mrs Slater. But never let it be said that Olive King was not a human being. By the way, I might help if you'd like me to take this round this afternoon. I shall be seeing most of the other residents one way or the other. Good. You oh, can Dita. start with Dita. Pardon? Hello, stranger. What was that? <laughs> look, look at that edit. <laughs> That's insane. I shall be seeing most of the Pardon? other. Cut. Cuts before he finishes. One way or the other. Good. You can start with Dita. Pardon? <laughs> Didn't even finish the word. I bet he muffed his line up and went, yeah, we haven't got time. We'll just cut it. <laughs> Didn't even finish the word. Right, hang on a minute. <laughs> Pardon? Hang on a minute. Let's, let's just do this. Let's get this in all its glory. Oh, you can start with Dita. Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> Pardon? Oh, oh, that was fun. Oh, I can't take any more of this shit. We're going to bed, right? <laughs> I think we're done. Let's um, let's go and see if any of our episodes. So, Pardon? In two weeks, episode 20, we've watched nine minutes and 11 seconds. 
in two weeks. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. Um, listen, if you want to see us next week, if you want to watch another four minutes of El Dorado next week, <laughs> Patreon. Go and sign up to our Patreon. We will be back in a month doing another free show. It's always lovely to see you if you can't afford it. Um, uh, Sarah, send me your email so I'll put you onto that list. And if I forget, send me an email because I do forget almost every week. It has to be said. Uh, let's see. Um, and let's just see where that has gone. Yeah, 475 quid. Well done, everybody. You're very generous this evening and it is appreciated. Let us go to Twitch. Twitch. Um, let's go and let's go and raid Zafik, um, shall we? Yay. Let's go and raid Bit Villa. Let's go and raid Zafik, shall we? Let's go and raid Bit Villa. Ages. You won't need security. Oh, he's having fun. I don't know what he's doing. Bad film club. Oh. Oh, whatever he's watching, it looks brilliant. Right. <laughs> You're going to like this. You're going to like this. Thank you, everybody. Good night, A everyone. lot of fun. Go and be polite. The raid has been created. Beautiful. Just mess around with that. I mess around with that. See you later. Good night. Chaz, chow, chow, chow. He's not mic'd up, though, is he? communicate with I've taken control of this. Oh, yeah, this guy's insane. I've, yeah.